Hey everybody, tonight we're debating atheism versus Islam and we are starting right now with Perfect Dawah's opening statement. Thanks so much for being with us, Perfect Dawah. The floor is all yours. Yes, thank you and hello every to everybody. <clears throat> thank you, James. Islam or atheism, it is very easy to understand that humanity needs rules and <clears throat> boundaries. Unfortunately, in the past, atheism caused a lot of uh, bloodshed from slavery and different wars to forcing gladiators slaughtering each other in stadiums and crucifixion of uh, people and <clears throat> many other barbaric practices. Humanity was living in a pure jungle <clears throat> with the jungle rules, but God didn't create us and leave us alone here without any help and guidance. So he sent us uh, messengers to teach us what is right and what is wrong, something that people <clears throat> didn't know by nature. It was through these messengers, like Jesus, peace be upon him, that Romans and Greeks gave up their stadiums where gladiators were slaughtering each other. Where was atheism to teach people love one another uh, or love your neighbors as you love yourself? Matthew chapter 22, verse 39, <clears throat> love your neighbors as yourself. Corinthians uh, 16, verse 14, let all that you do be done in love. Deuteronomy uh, 15, verse 11, for there will never uh, uh, cease to be poor in the land. Therefore, I command you, you shall open wide your hand, uh, sorry, your hand to your brother, to needy and to the poor in your land. Uh, Proverbs 14, verse 31, whoever oppresses the poor shows uh, contempt for their maker. But whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Quran chapter 16, verse 90. Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. Quran chapter 15, verse 85. Indeed, the hour is approaching. So pardon those who wrong you with most graceful pardon without revenge. Chapter Quran chapter 5, verse 8. O believers, stand firm for Allah and bear true testimony. Do not let the hatred of a people lead you to injustice. Be just. That is closer to righteousness. And be mindful of Allah. Surely Allah is all aware of what you do. Where was atheism to stop Arab Bedouins from burying their daughters alive? Quran chapter 16, verse 58 and 59. And when one of them is informed of the birth of a female, his face becomes dark and he oppresses anger. He hides himself from the pool because of the oppressed, uh, sorry, from, uh, because of the supposed bad news he has received. Should he keep it in humiliation or bury it in the ground? Evil indeed is their judgment. Quran chapter 81, verse 8 and 9. And when baby girls buried alive are asked for what crime they were put to death. There, were, there are many examples on which problems God has solved throughout the history that has created this civilization we have today. But is it ideal world we are living in? Don't we have problems anymore? Definitely our problems are not like in the past, thanks God. But we still have a lot of problems and we need God to teach us how to solve them. Problems such as prostitution, drugs, corruption, war, human, human trafficking, robbery, and many, many more problems. Why we need God for solving our existing problems? Because according Abrahamic religion, all problems have a single source, which is the Satan. I converted to Islam because Islam taught me that <clears throat> Satan is nothing but the capitalist system and by Allah's guidance, we can live in a world where we share everything with each other and love one another. <clears throat> no poverty, no drugs, no prostitution, and no problems at all because the source will be gone. Humanity has only two ways to choose, the right way or the wrong way. The wrong way is the way we are living today, which is the capitalist system, or better to say, a satanic system, and the right way is equality according to Islam. That is why we Muslims are asked to face five times a day towards equality and ask God to show us the right way 
and reject the wrong way. What do I mean with facing equality is that when we visit Mecca, we all have to dress equal so that no one is uh, rich or poor. That is how God wants us uh, to see us everywhere on this planet, not only in Mecca. If we choose atheism, we always have to live in this modern jungle where the strongest get the most and the weakest get the little or nothing. And we always uh, live with all problems we are facing today. So if we choose to live in this satanic system, then we don't need God because this satanic system is run by our animal nature. But if we choose to live in a world where everyone is equal and everyone loves one another, then we need Allah and his final command, which is march towards equality. All right. That was all I said. You got it. Thank you very much for that opening statement. With that, I want to let you know, folks, if it's your first time here at Modern Day Debate, we are a neutral channel hosting debates on science, religion, and politics. We hope you feel welcome no matter what walk of life you are from. And we've also got to tell you, as you can see at the bottom right of your screen, we have many upcoming debates this weekend. T-Jump versus newcomer Taylor as she defends intelligent design. You don't want to miss it. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future debates. And with that, Thanks so much, AP. The floor is all yours for your opening as well. Thank you so much. I don't really know how much uh, time each of one of us has, honestly, but I'll just uh, go. <laughs> uh, so all we heard was uh, jungle, jungle, jungle. Atheism has no rules. Islam solves all the problems. I just don't understand. I don't see it. Now, um, Perfect Dawa or Muji here mentioned a few things like uh, atheism brought us what slavery and uh, gladiators mer mercilessly killing each other, crucifixion and things like that. How did atheism bring you that? How is atheism responsible for that? How is atheism supposed to solve that problem? Atheism is not supposed to solve any such problem. Atheism is just the lack of uh, belief in a divine being and in a in a in a in a religion in an organized religion that uh, claims to be following the laws of a supernatural being. Uh, the atrocities as you see them that were brought in the past were brought by different cultures and their various beliefs. The Romans, for example, uh, were entertained by this and they thought that they could put, uh, you know, humans who are strong but who are subservient to better use and, you know, let them serve as entertainers, as gladiators who kill each other. Atheism is not supposed to come in and solve that problem. This is a societal issue and to People need to recognize that issue and move on from that uh, through atheism or through other means. Atheism doesn't have a religious book, uh, a book of laws, a book of uh, you know doctrines and beliefs that you have to stick to um, and which are inefficient in solving this problem. No, an atheist can be somebody who is a communist, who wants to apply uh, state atheism, as we have seen in the past, can be somebody who is entirely secular, can be an anti-theist against religion can be can embrace religion uh and athe atheism can go into all kinds of different beliefs and directions and um you know political ideas uh what muji needs to understand here is that atheism does not equal a lack of rules atheism equals a lack of belief in one god so atheism can be employed in terms of belief in God while you come together as a society and figure out what is best for the society and then make laws accordingly. Now, uh, now that we have that misunderstanding out of the way, uh, he talked about uh, justice. Uh, justice is relative. Now, Muji says that there is justice in Islam. He says, uh, he cites certain Quran verses which uh, say that Allah is just and he wants you to be just. Well, I'm sorry. Justice alone doesn't mean anything. It is entirely relative. The word has no meaning if you don't present anything in order to demonstrate what exactly it is. I can say, hey, guys, let's be just. I love justice. I, I am such a huge fan of justice. I am here to bring justice. Okay, but what exactly does that mean? It doesn't mean anything at all. If I cannot demonstrate what I mean by justice, what laws, what rewards, what repercussions, whatever uh, it is that I, that I understand from justice. 
When the Quran says, be just, that doesn't mean anything. The Quran might believe that it is okay to kill every single human being in the world and may believe that that is just. And you cannot oppose that. You cannot say, hey, that is not justice, because that is that is justice according to the Quran. So when you say the Quran is just, Islam is just, that is entirely meaningless. And we know for a fact that Islam brings things like, I don't know, slavery, animosity, oppression, inequality, and these things are just according to Islam. According to your fellow Muslim apologists who are more honest to their Islamic beliefs, I should be punished with death, for example, for my apostasy and my outspoken opposition to Islam. And that, according to them, is justice. And they think that is the ultimate justice. They are so just. Is that justice according to you too, Muji? Is that justice according to me? Definitely not. Uh, you mentioned female infanticide. People killed their children in the past. Islam somehow came to solve that problem. Yeah, female infanticide is something that happened in the past because people looked for uh, how to survive survive and how to uh, save themselves from uh, the struggles in life. And they thought having a girl will not do anything for them. They will uh, just suffer more. Totally misguided and uh, terrible belief if you look at it uh, now. But what did Islam do? Islam came and said, hey, guys, don't bury your girls. No, marry them instead. Yeah, marry them as little children instead. Make them, <laughs> don't bury your good girls, marry them instead. Don't bury your girls, have you know, intercourse with them instead. I don't want to go too deep into this uh, because it will make this stream too problematic, which is very normal since we're talking about Islam. Now, you mentioned lots of uh, problems in the world. How did Islam solve those problems? Did it, did it solve the problem of slavery? No. Islam had the biggest slave trade, uh, the longest lasting slave trade in history, the Arab slave trade or the, uh, the, the Islamic slave, slave trade, the Berber slave trade, whatever it is, the African slave trade. Muslims uh, ran the greatest slave trade, which started long before the transatlantic slave trade and ended only after the transatlantic slave trade in some parts parts of the Muslim world that is still ongoing. Did it stop wars? No, it was expansionist. Did it stop oppression? No, it oppressed people. It was unequal. It fuels animosity. It teaches that the Muslim and the non-Muslim are not equal to each other. The Quran says that those who disbelieve are the worst of creatures. They are not equal to Muslims and so on. In Islam, you are not equal. In Islam, Muslims are equal to each other. You are not equal to the rest of the world. That is not equality. That is not a uh, solution to all these problems. I don't understand the whole premise here anyway. We're talking about uh, Islam versus atheism. How are we supposed to um, come to the conclusion what is better or what is the right thing just by what seemingly works? It sh shouldn't there be a truth of uh, be behind Islam? Shouldn't Islam be... Uh, true and real about its truth claims before we adopt it as the perfect solution to the world should atheism be should atheism not be demonstrated as false and islam be demonstrated as true as far as i see it i have no reason at all to believe in islam it is completely false it is a ridiculous religion which brings beliefs in a flying horse that uh, muhammad flew on uh, a weird tribe called gog and magog that will flood the world and drink lakes dry and lots of other nonsensical things uh the, the, its theological beliefs are nonsense the quran is a, is a is a terrible book that muslims themselves are too lazy to read because it just it's just not fun it's a horribly repetitive book that goes by no proper structure uh, as long as you cannot demonstrate to me a reason why i should not believe in god I think atheism is the only answer that I have. And within my atheist framework, if you want to have it so, I can develop different ways of looking at the world and solving different problems, solving the suffering in the world, looking for a better way out of this jungle, which does not require me to follow an Islam that, uh, as you presented, is not even clear. Nobody knows what your Islam is. Nobody knows what your Islam brings. Nobody knows what the justice that you're talking about is. It does it your your premise here and your argument, what you are proposing is entirely incoherent. First, you should clarify what exactly it is that you call Islam. How do you demonstrate its justice? Go ahead and do that, please. That is all I want to say. Thank you. You got it. Thank you very much for that opening statement. And my dear friends, we're going to jump into the open conversation. Want to say if you enjoy these debates, you probably have a friend who also enjoys these debates. And 
Great opportunity. If you click the share button below, you can share this debate with them and enjoy it together or say, oh man, I thought this side's arguments were good in this way or that way or bad in this way or that way. Whatever you want, that share button is below. And with that, we're going to jump into open conversation. Thanks very much, AP and Perfect Dawa. Thrilled to have you. The floor is all yours. All right. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And <clears throat> there were a lot of things uh, that um, AP said. Atheism doesn't solve problems, he said. Of course, I know that. That's why um, I was saying in the opening statement that, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, God sent us prophets. And through these prophets, he taught us that uh, these problems have to be solved by different verses of Quran to be just and uh, so on to feed the poor. So <clears throat> you said, uh, <clears throat> AP said, uh, tell me what is uh, just. Just uh, is, uh, of course, is equality, as I said. Uh, it is not just that uh, some people have billions of dollars and they sell <clears throat> uh, drugs, uh, tobacco, uh, weapons, and everything to become richer, and they kill millions of people. Uh, that's not just, okay? How should, how should Islam deal with that problem? Okay, I told you that uh, Islam's deal with that problem by getting rid of this opportunity that how? they become how? how I said equality. Okay, get rid of the system that allows you to how? gather. Okay, I told you. You know that how you do uh, you get you sell weapons. Okay, uh, or you sell cigarettes. All right, and make billions of dollars and put them in the bank or whatever. All right, that's called capitalism. Okay, so you have this opportunity to kill people and make billions of dollars, the solution is that you don't have this opportunity. It is very simple, uh, AP, that you, uh, it's like that, um, you know, uh, children are playing on the, uh, uh, on the floor and there are several knives there and you just say, uh, don't play with those knives, you can cut yourself. The solution is to remove those knives. They will not cut themselves, okay? Okay, so I, have to, I have two questions for you. I'm still asking you, how are you going to solve this problem? How is your Islam supposed to solve this problem? Don't tell me what the problem is. Don't tell me that you need to get rid of the problem. Tell me, how exactly do you imagine your Islam, and this is not Islam, by the way, this is your okay. Islam, your Islam solves this problem? Okay, first of all, it's not my Islam. This is, uh, I told you that I... I have said in the, in the past there are millions yeah, you have, you have of five people. six more friends yeah. who also have yes, the same there, no there are millions of people okay there are millions of people who believe in that okay so uh, and then I will come to that as well who are there okay anyway uh, how uh, Islam is going to solve that uh, the, the problem uh, I said that when you cannot sell the cigarettes okay all these tobacco companies they will close down because they are not going to produce cigarette and give it for free. They we heard that free. many times. How okay. is your Islam supposed to solve that problem? If people want to sell cigarettes, what is your Islam supposed to do? Are you going to, uh, you know, gather them and punish them? And <laughs> of, of course not. That's, that's, that's uh, 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 you know, AP, that's your understanding and ISIS and Taliban, they think that things can be solved by punishment, okay? I told you to remove the opportunity, to remove the knife, okay? So when they cannot sell it, you can produce it. You can give it for free. Farmers of Afghanistan, they produce 90% of the uh, total opium of the world because it gives them more money than potatoes and tomatoes. Tell I'm, me I'm still asking you a very simple question. How do you prevent people from producing and selling cigarettes? I said, uh, I don't know uh, which other language I have to tell you that. When you cannot... Equality means that to get rid of this capitalist system that gives you the opportunity to sell opium, hundreds of hundreds of dollars per kilo, okay? Because it gives you more money than potatoes and tomatoes. So that's why Afghan farmers they go for opium instead of potatoes and tomatoes. So okay, easy, so so you want to like you want to make it impossible for people to sell it. How do you do that? To get rid of the money. <laughs> Is it difficult to share? <laughs> no. AP, AP, is it difficult okay. for you to understand that if you get rid of the, the system, that people share everything with each other, okay, love one another, 
The yes, way, that's not how people. God, that's not how people uh, function. You're basically arguing for communism, okay, yes, not for yes. Islam. So, no, uh, but, but, not. but the thing is, how are you supposed to implement that? I am still telling you a very, a very simple thing and okay. asking you a very simple question. Yes. Even if you say we get rid of all of this, there will okay. still be in corners of the world, in big parts of the world, people who will plant that stuff, gather okay. that stuff, and then sell to each other because some people have you more. Said sin. Okay, you okay. Said sin. Look, listen, listen sin. to me. Listen to me. Some people have more than others. So some okay. people want to take advantage of the situation and then give to others and get something in return. That's what selling is. How do you want to prevent people from doing that transaction? Okay, so you mean that uh, people uh, can gather, for example, hundreds of houses? Yeah? Hundreds of tobacco or cigarettes, whatever it is. They no, no, gather, no, no, they gather no, no. it okay. and, then okay. they, and then they trade it. How All do right, you okay. prevent them from trading? I, I tell you that trade is in a system that you can, uh, you know, for example, you can buy uh, hundreds of houses and then rent it out or sell it, okay? So I think it's very difficult for you to understand this, uh, you know, this uh, solution that when you cannot, then it's not possible. Money doesn't exist, okay? You cannot gather hundreds of houses because oh you cannot Oh my God, buy. I'm asking you a very simple question. How do you make it impossible for people to trade things? I don't care if it's possible or not in your, uh, in your ideal fantasy world. How okay. do you prevent people from gathering and trading things? It doesn't matter you? if you yeah. abolish money, they will still okay. trade. How do you how prevent can, it? Yeah. How do how you enforce you? this? Yes, sir. How, I'm not going to enforce it, and that's why no uh, uh, impulsion in religion is, is in Quran. There is no force in religion, okay? I'm not going to enforce it. I say that if you cannot sell it, okay, if you cannot sell, money doesn't exist. So how you are going to sell weapons? How Tell me how you are going to sell weapons. Money do, you think, do you think money fell from the sky? People invented money because people invented different, yes. different ways of trading goods right. and eventually came up with the idea of of, of okay. creating a currency instead of just okay. trading things against each other. If you okay. don't, if you don't enforce your way of uh, preventing this, then okay. people will find ways of doing this. Which is why your uh, right. your, your beloved communist uh, regimes, for example, took okay. their iron hands and fists and enforced this in brutal ways. How is your okay. system supposed to do that? Uh, this is uh, this. That's why is the, to believe in God and His religion. That's why we stand towards. Uh, the equality five times a day, and we ask God to show me the right way, okay? So God wants us to live in that uh, equal world, okay? And we have to make people to understand it, to adopt it, okay? Not by force, by, uh, by you know, by talking to them, by spreading the message that uh, God wants us to live like human beings. And as long as we live in this jungle, we will have problems, Okay. Uh, we we uh, we have wars. We have this uh, nuclear bomb over us. Okay, that's very As nice. That's, that's very that's very cool. But um, I wonder why this debate is titled uh, "Atheism versus Islam" instead of "Atheism versus Communism." What exactly are you arguing okay. here? Okay, let me see. Okay, you say communism. Okay, uh, of course, definitely communism has some uh, you know um, you know uh, common understanding as well. That's uh, I'm not denying it, but. Uh, this is the, the problem that um, most Muslims don't understand it. Seven, uh, 1400 years, they're standing towards Mecca. Okay, they go there, they address equality. Okay, and they say, I accept it. Okay, why God wants us to dress equal in Mecca? Can you tell me? Uh, he just orders it. Is there, is, 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 there, no is, no is, there, is there a reason given? Can you cite me the reason? Yes, Can you cite the reason, it to me? yes, I told you that the reason is that God wants us all to live equal. Okay, that, and I, that I didn't. Are, that, that's that's not what I asked. Can you cite it to me? Can you give me a, uh, a source for the reason of that? Source is that uh, the uh, Satan is uh, the source of all bad deeds. Okay. No, and, can you uh, can you cite me a Quran verse or a hadith or something which says that this is the reason so that you know, there's equality between all of you, all the humans. That's okay. why you're supposed to dress all the same. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, there is no such a verse, okay? But uh, you have to understand it, okay? You have to understand that um, from Quran, from the, the concept of Mahdi, that Mahdi will come and, uh, you know, uh, establish absolute justice on this planet, from the verses of Quran that Quran, Satan asked uh, Allah, give me time until uh, the resurrection day, okay? So that I fool people. God told him, no, I'm not going to give you until that time. You have a limited time, okay? So according Quran, Satan is going to uh, go away 
uh, a time while we are living on this planet and Quran, uh, Satan is the source of all uh, problems. That's why with the dress of equality, we uh, uh, reject the Satan in Mecca, when we go there, we reject it. First, we uh, dress equal, no poor, no rich. We say, I accept it. Then we reject the opposite of equality, which is Satan. And there are- Okay, so you, 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 you told me, you basically said that uh, there is no verse, which of course I expected, but you need to understand it that way. What that is called is reading into something because you're not giving me, you're not giving me ideas that are actually present in your beliefs. You're simply interpreting them as you wish. And you are interpreting Islamic beliefs and doctrines in a way that 99% of Muslims do not understand and interpret them. 99% of Muslims who go to uh, Mecca, who go to the Hajj, who circle the cube, they do not believe that we should get rid of money, which all humans should be equal, we should be, I don't know, we should be loving each other and we are living in a jungle and this and that. They, no, no, no Muslim believes in these things. No, no, you, and, you, and you, you and your two or three friends believe in that stuff. Or, oh, okay, no, okay. No. I, I'm, I'm sorry for misrepresenting maybe a thousand other more people believe in that stuff. Ninety-nine yes, yes. percent of Muslims do not believe in that stuff. Where in the Quran do you get the idea that money should be abolished, that all humans must be equal, uh, and and so on. You, 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 don't, you can't even go to the Quran and tell me that it says that there will be a Mahdi who will free the humans from oppression. No, and all that. no. That's also not in the Quran. Definitely is not in the Quran, but Quran yeah. says that, no, definitely is not in the Quran, but Quran says that there will definitely one day there will be, uh, you know, all humanity will become righteous, Okay. And uh, he says in many verses that <clears throat> he has- where, where, where does it say that? Where, can you give me a verse which says that all humans will be really righteous one day? Okay, uh, um, let me uh, bring uh, the verses, okay? And <clears throat> that, uh, just let me find. I'm really curious where it says that. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see, Ch Quran chapter 24, verse 51. Allah has promised those of you who believe and do good that uh, he will certainly make them successors in the planet, okay? As he did with those before them and uh, will surely establish for them their faith, which ha ha he has chosen for them. Uh, okay, so okay. What, what 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 was your claim about this Quran verse? What was your claim? What the, what 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 it says? That's, you that's claimed wrong. you claimed that it says that one day uh, people will be will be will be become righteous. That's what okay. you claimed. But yes. but here now you're reading the Quran verse, which says uh, that believers uh, should just say we hear and we obey, and they will become successful. That's it. Okay. It, it says right. nothing remotely close to what you just claimed. Okay, I, I uh, the, the the verse. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have it now, but the verse uh, exists, and I there is no such verse. I'm okay. sorry, no, there, no, there is no, no such oh, verse. Chapter twenty-eight, verse five. And we wanted to confer favor upon those who were oppressed on the earth, and make them leaders and make them inheritors. So Quran promises the the oppressed one to rule and inherit. By the way, is this oppressed means uh, says mustaz afin. Mustaz afin means the 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 poor, the lower level of the you know that. Uh, it, for example, today we know that one percent of the world. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm I'm sorry, you, you're okay. you're digressing right now again. Uh, the verse that you cited merely says that we uh, promised Allah promised to those who were oppressed in the land, referring to uh, yes. the Hebrew people under the Pharaoh, that they okay. will become leaders and uh, will inherit the land one day. That's all not, it says. Not, Does it say anywhere that people that uh, people one day will all become righteous? No, it doesn't. No. Uh, I told you that, unfortunately, I don't have the verse right now. There is okay. no such verse. I'm but sorry. There, there is no such okay. verse. Uh, if there will be another debate, I will bring it for you. Okay. But uh, I, I know will that be waiting verse, forever. Okay. Ah, okay. I know that the verse ex exists. And this verse that I have told you is not just about, uh, uh, you know, uh, people of uh, the Jews or, or whatever you say. It's about uh, oppressed. If it is a, uh, no, if it is a promise, okay, that just for one, no, let me see. If it is a promise for just a limited people, okay, then how about the entire humanity? No, it is a promise for all hu humanity that oppressed will one day rule and inherit the planet. It's not about uh, a piece of land, the planet. Mm -hmm. So that day that oppressed, because there are two levels 
two uh, you know classes in Islam, oppressed and oppressor, mustazafin and mustakbirin. Okay, so when the mustazafin, the oppressed, will rule and inherit the planet, it doesn't mean that they will be again oppressed and oppressor. It means that oppression, oppression will disappear one day. Everybody will be equal. So there are many. No, 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 now, you, now you're just making things up. But uh, so the, okay. the context here actually says, indeed, the Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and made his people into factions. He oppressed some of them and slaughtered their sons and, keep, and kept their females alive. He was one of the corruptors. And we promised okay. to those who were oppressed in the land to make them leaders and inheritors and establish them in the land and show the Pharaoh and his minister Haman and their soldiers through them that which they had feared. Okay. So th does it talk this about all humanity? here no it specifically okay. talks about those people all and right. nowhere in the quran does it ever say that all people one day will become righteous such a belief is completely contrary to the ideas of islam it doesn't exist you're making things up okay let me see chapter 21 verse 105 surely following the heavenly record we decreed in the scriptures my Righteous servants shall inherit the land. Okay, so there are many, many other verses of Quran that I'll tell you that I wasn't prepared to uh, bring. Okay, in, in, the, in this verse okay. it says, "We have written in the book uh, after the previous mention that the land is inherited by my righteous servants." Does it say okay. that people will become righteous one day? No, it says uh, that it will be inherited by those righteous servants, which could be just five people or eight billion people. All right. I, I, I say that, um, uh, unfortunately, uh, I uh, didn't bring that verse, okay? But I okay, it doesn't, ex it doesn't exist. Yeah. I, it's okay. okay. No, okay, it, we can it, it exists. No, it exists. Just I, uh, I didn't bring it because I didn't know that it will come up, okay? Otherwise, I would bring it. De definitely, it, it exists, okay? Maybe in some uh, parallel world it exists. Okay. Maybe. You said that, you said that, uh, you said that atheism doesn't have a book. That's why I told you that I understand that the atheism doesn't have any rules. I said from the beginning, no rules, no boundaries, okay? Okay, and uh, that's why we need God to teach us uh, in the past all those things that happened uh, in those, uh, you know, barbarism was because people uh, were just following their nature. Okay, and they didn't have any teachings, any books of atheism to teach them that this is bad, this is good. Okay, so you said apostasy. Okay, I have said it many times that apostasy doesn't exist in Islam. Okay, in Quran, it's just you, you mean in your Islam. No, no, it's not in my Islam. Is uh, in Quran doesn't exist, okay? The Mahdi uh, also doesn't exist in the Quran, but you believe in the no, Mahdi. No, uh, but um, no, I don't believe that. Uh, look, I don't believe that Mahdi will come, okay? Well, just, you just, I, you just talked. You just said that he will come yeah, one that, day and will bring yeah, justice. I, yeah, that's that's in all uh, according all Abrahamic religion. We have a uh, you know uh, a Messiah. This is a message that one day, okay. There is a way out of this uh, oppression. It doesn't mean that God, I have said it many times to before, uh, people as well, it doesn't mean that God is going to send us a Superman who is going to, to save us. There is us. already the Messiah. There is uh, the People have the Messiah. The Jews have the Messiah or, or yeah. the Messianic beliefs. Christians okay. have the Messiah. Yes. Islam has the Messiah. Where exactly yeah. do, you, do you take your Mahdi from? You say that apostasy is not in the Quran, therefore it doesn't exist. But you talk okay. about the Mahdi, which also does not exist in the Quran okay. at all. All right, uh, I said that Mahdi is just a message, okay? And it goes in line, I'm not saying that somebody will come. It goes in line with those verses of Quran. Okay, I, I'm, I, I, don't Quran care if, I, I don't care if it's somebody who will come or not. You believe in it, but it doesn't exist in the Quran. Yeah, I, I believe that one day the world will be uh, filled with justice, okay? And oppression will disappear, okay? But who bring, bring that? Is not that Superman called Mahdi who will come and save the humanity. Is us. Quran tells us that one day and the source will disappear. As I said, the Satan, which is the source, will disappear. And the, the world will be filled with justice and uh, equality. Okay, It's very That's cute that point. you believe in such a, such things, but others also believe that Muhammad said that we should kill those who leave their religion. And they based that belief on multiple reports, which they verify through Hadith studies and thereby conclude that Muhammad must have said it. He must have said, kill those who change their religion, which is why most Muslims ad ad adhere to 
an Islamic jurisprudential system which rules that apostates like myself are to be put to death, that gay people are to be put to death, that you should fight those who don't believe in Islam and who don't adopt the true beliefs of Islam, that the, that the non-Muslims, uh, the disbelievers are the worst of creatures, and so on. Some of these are things that are actually mentioned in the Quran. So. It looks to me like you're really cherry picking uh, right. whether whether you want to believe in something or not, regardless if it is in these sources or not. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you said many many things. Okay, let me tell you that uh, uh, you did. said that. Yeah, yeah. Because you said that because somebody said it that you unfortunately you believe uh, in every trash you uh, you get. Okay, uh, you believe in that. All right. Uh, without uh, thinking. Well, clearly, I don't see. All right, yeah. no, no, let me let me example everybody. here. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me let me give you an example. Okay, let me give you an example, uh, if I may. Uh, in uh, November twenty, uh, sorry, November eighteen, I had a discussion with you, uh, a, a debate with you on your channel, and you liked my my idea and so on. At the end, and then you said uh, you wish me good luck. At the end. Uh, your uh, good friend Susanna wrote that I'm supporting a, a terrorist organization. And then uh, I explained for you two minutes. You said, okay, I'll, I have to check it myself. Two days after on uh, MDD, we had a debate. You called my organization a terrorist organization. Why, okay. why, are you, why are you putting yourself through the mud right now with something that I didn't even bring up? This is this is a terrible oh, no, strategy. No, 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 like no. normally, normally in debates, people use this dirty strategy to put mud upon others. Just, You're no, doing it to yourself. Right I, I now. just, I, I just no, look. I just want to show that how uh, your, you know, you believe in every trash you you hear. Within two days, you just watch one documentary movie from Al Jazeera, okay, and you decide that the organization that exists today is a terrorist organization. You said it. I have the video. Everything is This is completely to... uninteresting. It's completely oh, no. off topic. Right. But you're also assuming what I watched uh, without even knowing what I watched. Uh, so it's, it's, very, days, it's very, no, look, very strange. Uh, look, so look. you accuse me of believing in uh, whatever I hear. And then you are actually making yeah. things up in order to okay. explain why I yes. think the way I think. But okay. nobody nobody cares about this drama uh, and, and your political yeah. affiliations. No, no. This is not yeah. part of the debate. No, it shows it shows your uh, your qualification of justifying things that you cannot call Prophet Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad, did you say kill apostate? That, that's impossible for you. But you could call me and tell me that Al Jazeera say this. Are you a part of a terrorist organization before you accuse me? Okay. Okay. Can, can right, you now, call now, Can you call now. Prophet Muhammad and ask him? Did you say that we should abolish money and establish equality in the world? Okay, that's uh, the, I told you that's a qualification of understanding the the Quran. Okay, which you don't have it. Okay, you, the, I say. But that, you do. Yeah, thanks God. Yes, thanks God. <laughs> I have. Yes. Okay. So uh, this, is, this is so ridiculous. Eddie, this is beyond no, no. ridiculous. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I I can't respect this. This is just so much right. stupid oh, garbage Eddie, here that is Eddie, that is Eddie, happening. Eddie. I can Eddie. I I cannot bring myself to respect this. I'm trying to be okay. as respectful as possible to people, okay. but I get so much dishonesty and so much nonsense here thrown at me with some uh, belittling, patronizing attitude. I can just not respect that. It's, Eddie, it's, how could you come to this conclusion within two days that a, an organization existing is a terrorist Nobody cares about your terrorist organization. Of course. Look, look, of at, course. look at this. Let, let's get back to the debate topic. Let me let me read you a Quran verse and let's see what you think about this Quran. No, no, let you, me say, you, let, you, let you, me cited, say. you cited a lot of Quran verses. Now let me read one Quran verse and uh, ask you what you think about it, okay? Okay, let so me you, tell you. You're, you're talking about that. you're talking about equality in the world. Now, now yeah, here's okay. here's what your dear uh, God Allah says according to the Quran in chapter 16, verse 75. Allah presents an example: a slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he okay. to whom he have we have provided from us great provision. So he spends from it secretly and in public. Can they be equal? Praise be to Allah. But most of them do not see. The, can they be equal is a rhetoric question, a rhetorical question. The Quran says, of course, they are not equal. It's I will I will say this again. A slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided from us great provisions. Are they equal? No. That's what the Quran says. What do you think about this? That's uh, uh, 1,400 years ago, uh, giving example to the people, okay? That's not uh, for all time, all right? Uh, you cannot take, like ISIS, take one verse of Quran and say that's all, okay? 
There are lots of verses of Quran that teaches us and then uh, Hajj and so on that we have to live in an equal world and we have to get rid of the inequality. I have told you, yeah. for example, you, you say everywhere, <clears throat> Uh, you find a, 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 a fabricated hadith about moon splitting uh, by Prophet Muhammad, and you say, look, here, uh, uh, you, you're teasing Islam. <clears throat> a little child would understand that chapter 29, verse 50 and 51 say, but they say, why not a sign has uh, a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a clear warner, and, and isn't it sufficient for them that we re reveal to you the book which is recited to them. So Quran says here, your, your, uh, your miracle is Quran. Chapter 6, verse 35. If there are I, I, don't, I don't know why you're telling me these things. If you have a problem with ma with mainstream Islamic beliefs, you should, you should go and argue that with Muslims. Not no, Islam. but okay, that's why I was saying that you, uh, a person who uh, take, for example, I set an example that take one uh, Al Jazeera, uh, you know, documentary and and say that uh, an existing organization is a terrorist organization. You avoid all these verses of Quran and take one fabricated hadith and say, oh, look, uh, Prophet Muhammad split the moon. Why it is not mentioned in Quran uh, AP? Can you tell me? Do you, do you want me to do you want me to put you on the spot here and ask no. you if you even understand hadith studies? Do you even understand how hadith studies work? Do, yes. you, do you understand how reports are compiled? What what procedure they go through? How they are verified? Do you okay. know about the terminology? Do, for example, what is the study uh, called which deals with uh, analyzing the the transmitters of of hadiths? Look, hadith? look, look, uh, AP. Uh, first of all. Uh, a hadith that goes against Quran is fabricated, definitely, okay? Nice the deflection, hadith, yeah. Yes, the hadith you mentioned goes up against all these verses of Quran. Something that is repeated in Quran many times is very important. Allah says in chapter uh, 635, if their aversion is too hard on you, then seek, if you can, a tunnel into the earth, or a ladder into the sky in order to bring them a sign. Okay, so okay, Allah can, can, can you tell me where? In the, yourself, can you okay? tell me where in the Quran it says that that money should be abolished? Uh, it doesn't go against Quran. Okay, I told you that. <laughs> yes, I told you. So, look. so it's so it's something that just doesn't go against the Quran, but it's not something uh, that the okay. Quran actually brings, right? right? No, no, it doesn't bring it. Uh, no, it, and and, uh, and okay. it even and it even clearly goes okay. against uh, the idea right. here that somebody that a slave and somebody who is given a lot of things are not equal mm. to each other. There, okay. are, there are many other versions that I can cite to you which speak okay. of some people are given more provision than others. But okay. according to you, uh, Islam preaches complete equality, which, however, yes. goes against these Quran mm. verses. So I don't really understand okay. how okay. you think that is consistent. Right. Let, let me tell you, Quran says the uh, interest is haram, forbidden, okay? So tell me, which capitalist system can survive uh, without interest? Can you, you don't even you don't even have the word interest. You you have the word riba there, which is a system yes. that is not really no. equal to to interest. Here. No, it is interest. That's why when I was in a uh, Islamic bank and said, "How much is my interest?" They said, "No, no, no. We here we say uh, profit, okay? Because they cannot use the the word interest because interest yeah. is haram. Yes, yeah. so they go around. Because Islamic banking cannot... goes goes around it in different ways. Yes, That's exactly they... because because. Either is Islam or capitalism. Without, you know, with Islam, you cannot take interest. And everything in capitalist system is interest, okay? So especially bank. Without bank, capitalist system collapse, all right? So this, these are things that you say. Okay, so do, 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 you think, do, you think, uh, do you think the king of, uh, of, of what, what's, what, kind of, what nation was it? The king of Mali, for example. What's his okay. name? Mansa Musa. I don't know, uh, yeah. He, he, was, he was like uh, one of the wealthiest humans who ever existed. Okay. Uh, he, so. he, he was the head of, of, the, of the Islamic state, which was seen as very righteous. Do okay. you think, uh, do you think how, how do you think he gathered the money how do you think uh, Islamic scholars or Islamic rulers Islamic societies gathered all their money how do you think people got rich in Islamic countries how do you think they built architecture how do you think all of these things happened did, did they all deviate from your perfect Islamic understanding because they didn't know as much about Islam as you do yes definitely they didn't know okay yes <laughs> okay. yes uh, look, of course, you, you, of course. You're not supposed course. to answer this question. I was just okay. mocking you, but you actually no, no. answered with yes. No, so. no, no. Look, look. Uh, no, opposite. Uh, AP, okay? AP, it doesn't mean that a dictator in, uh, for example, uh, 
Borneo, uh, you, you call somebody who is, uh, you know, and let me tell you, let me, okay, let me read for you uh, uh, a verse of Quran. Okay, just a moment, please. Uh, 107, uh, one, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Quran, chapter 107, verse one, two, uh, verse seven. Have you seen the one who denies the religion, okay? That is the one who repulses the orphan <clears throat> and those, uh, sorry, and does not encourage the feeding of the poor. So woe to those who pray, yet are not mindful of their prayers. Those who only show off, okay? And refuses to give even the simplest aid, okay? So Allah say woe to, the, to, to those which you said now, okay? That gather billions of dollars and no, it do, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say that anywhere here. Okay, it said it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't say that anywhere here. It doesn't say anywhere. Woo to those who gather wealth and thousands of no, dollars. It what, it, what it what it says here? Woo to those who don't uh, take care of the orphans. Uh, yes. and who don't feed the poor and who exactly. don't uh, who don't give charity. Do you think? Okay. Do you think giving charity is a means abolishing uh, capitalism? No, I didn't say that it, that means uh, abolishing capitalism. I'm saying that you mentioned them as Muslims, okay? And you said that they didn't understand. If they understood, then they would give up all their money to the poor and take care where of do them. You, where do you find here that it says give up all your money and help the poor? It merely says uh, that those who, are, who do not feed the poor and who, do, who don't give uh, in charity are, you know, they are bad. That's all it says. Okay. Does it say anywhere that you are supposed okay. to give up all your wealth and give it all to somebody else? All no. Right. It okay, never uh, says so in the yes, Quran. A, a little child understand that when you have billions of dollars and there are millions of people who are going hungry, okay, you are not giving to them, okay? You are okay, fine. What, what if you, what okay. if you have what if you have two or three homes and you have uh, lots of money there and you you are still feeding the poor and you are still giving money in charity, but you are uh, completely fine living like that while others around the world are not as wealthy and as lucky as you. Do you think that is evil? Do you think that goes against the Quran? Uh, the, it goes against, uh, it's not about two, three uh, homes, okay? It's about uh, the entire system, as I said, the entire system that uh, you, uh, the system allow people, 1% of the world population, they gather $110 trillion, okay? Why? I'm asking you the question dollars. again. I'm asking you the question again. Somebody has wealth, somebody has lots of homes, lots of money, but they okay. also feed the poor and give lots of, lots of money in charity, do a lot of good stuff. But others are not as wealthy as they are. They make their own wealth and keep making it. Does this go against the Quran? Is this evil? Uh, this is, uh, uh, I, I cannot uh, say about individual, okay? I'm just saying about the entire system, all right? The entire system allows people to gather billions of dollars. That's about the entire people, uh, the entire system and millions of people on the planet. It's not about one person or two person. That's uh, like, uh, okay. I, so, I so, it, so it does not against, it, it does okay. not go against the Quran, okay. right? Okay, uh, it, it does not go against the, um, what is it? Um, the, 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 the entire uh, one person or two person, okay? But Quran wants us to leave Islam. Okay, wants okay. Us so, to leave so it does not go against the Quran? Uh, to have one, two, three, House. To to be to be wealthy, to have lots of money, but also to give in charity, to feed the poor, and all that, while others are not as lucky as you are. Okay. This goes. This does not go against it, the Quran. It, right? it, it is not about luck. It's about. Uh, oh my God! Know. Does it go against the Quran or not? I don't know about uh, that, that. Okay, so it does not go Quran. against. So it does not go against the Quran. If Earlier, you give charity, no, no, definitely. Yeah, if you okay, give charity okay. is not going against Quran. Okay, okay, I, I okay, understand. fantastic. So five minutes ago, you said uh, about something that you were preaching. It does not go against the Quran. Therefore, it is. It is okay. It is good. It is right. Now we are talking about a person who has lots of wealth, okay. uh, which 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 by nature means inequality, and okay. feeds the poor, which by nature means inequality, and gives in charity which by nature means inequality. And you say this does not go against the Quran. So I, therefore, I therefore, 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 
people having wealth and uh, inequality in possession and belongings does not go against the Quran. Therefore, your understanding of the Quran, your Islamic belief does not provide equality, does not get rid of wealthy people, does not get rid of wealth, does none of those things. So where exactly do you pull all of that out from? Okay, uh, AP. I said that giving charity doesn't go against Quran, but gathering billions of dollars. Well, I did not say Quran. billions of okay. dollars. I say right. somebody is wealthy, has okay. thousands of dollars, has homes, and so on. And you thousands say of dollars. Okay. okay, this is the the standard of living today. Uh, definitely is not going against Quran that you have a normal life. You have may, maybe even some millions of dollars. Okay, but, okay. So capitalism does not go against okay. the Quran. Uh, uh, that in total, yeah, in totality, yes, it goes against the. Allah doesn't want us to live inequal, okay? I told you that why we, tell me why we are dressing. You said that you don't know. That's why I said I want to have a debate with a Muslim, okay? To ask him why we are dressing equal in Mecca. Can you tell me? I don't care about that. Why no, do, why do, do, okay, then you why, don't care about why, okay, why, do, why, do, why do you change the topic right now? <laughs> no, because you say that Islam I'm, doesn't I'm say... I'm completely dumbfounded. No. Where are we going with this? You say, so, equality. No, you say you, Islam doesn't say equality. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just wondering about one thing. Uh, you just read the Quran verses in which it says, uh, taking care of the orphan, feeding the poor, and giving in charity. Yes. If in your ideal Islamic world, everyone is equal and there are no possessions and no money, then... Okay. Who exactly is poor and who exactly do people give charity to and what exactly, what kind of charity do they do, do they give to these fantasy poor people who don't exist in your fantasy world? Okay, that's why you don't understand that certain verses of Quran is for the time being, okay? Not of course, when, whenever yes. it's convenient, it's just yes. for the time Not being, yeah. Convenient, yeah. There were many verses of Quran which were, uh, you know, abrogated by Prophet Muhammad because they were old for the time, okay? It mm -hmm. was... It was fine for before that, but later it was also uh, Prophet Muhammad aboli, uh, sorry, abrogated them. So these can, verses, can, you, can you can you tell me where in the Quran or in Muhammad's words it says that uh, that this concept here was just for the time and it's abrogated? Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, we have this uh, system of um, ijtihad in Islam. If you don't know. Uh, I know very, uh, I know very well, and I cannot okay. find, I cannot All find right. two or three scholars who say that this is just for the time. No, uh, I, I said that. Uh, so you're just making up okay, another just, stuff no, as, as no, you no, go. No, no. You no, just made just, up another, another uh, thing to uh, fit to suit okay. your story. Okay, just because, just because you haven't seen or heard such scholars who say it doesn't mean they don't exist, uh, Radwa. It maybe you have a, maybe you have uh, a friend. Okay, that's fine. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, it's not a friend. It's a uh, okay. It's not a friend scholar which has millions of followers okay they also say that uh, verses of quran has to be you know uh, uh, abrogated by mujtahideen mujtahideen or these scholars are not for reading quran for us or just uh, you know make tafsir because once you make tafsir once you read quran that's all enough then why we need these scholars because the scholars have to tell us for example there is a the, uh, the verse of Quran that say, let me see, uh, uh, Radwa, Radwa, the verses of Quran that says how to fast. Do you know how to fast in Quran? How is the the, the ruling for fasting? It's it's, it's it's not explained in the Quran, yeah. No, it says no. it says the from the sunrise to sunset. Okay, it doesn't say. Yeah. It it does it, says, it does it does it doesn't give you all the details exactly. No, but it says of, from of, of how to fast. Right? Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, from it, sunrise, does, it doesn't give you it doesn't okay. give you all the detail, details of how to pray and okay. when to pray either. So. No, yeah, it says from sunrise to, uh, to sunset you have to fast. Okay, during daytime the, from the, so when we come to the North Sweden, okay, the scholars who don't understand then they get stuck that because in North Sweden, okay, in summer. 24 hours is day. So that verse of Quran has to be changed here. It cannot be followed in North Sweden. So that's why those who say that, no, it is forever and everywhere, but they don't understand such a thing. Okay, okay so, so th 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 there are two things that you can come to here in this case. Uh, when the Quran doesn't make any sense that you can't get anything out of this, there are two, two routes that you could go. Route one is it doesn't make sense, so maybe it is not really true. Route two is it doesn't make sense, but it has to make sense. So we have to find a way to interpret it, right? No. Why do Why do you immediately get rid of this option and immediately go for this one? No, I didn't say it doesn't make sense uh, the way you said. I said we have the ijtihad system, the the scholarship system to 
adopt this. Uh, that's a very lengthy way of course, saying. That's a very lengthy way of saying it doesn't okay. make sense on the surface. All right. Okay. So look, uh, Rodba, this is what I say. People hear it. They can decide, accept it or not. Okay. So you say whatever you want. You said about uh, you know, uh, did Islam solve problems of slavery? Uh, Islam and prophets didn't come to solve problems immediately. Okay. God says that if he wanted to make us Muslims, he would have created us Muslim, okay? So he gave us time, he gave us the opportunity. This, the problem's supposed to be solved, uh, you know, slowly, slowly, uh, by we getting, uh, you know, uh, righteous. That, that, that's, that's a good topic. Can you, give me, uh, can you give me your source from the Quran or the Hadith or something which says that uh, slavery is evil and should be abolished? Yes, yes, okay. Slavery is... Uh, Evil. evil and should be above. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Let me see. Um, Is your Islamic scholar's name by any chance Karl Marx? I'm just wondering. Um, okay. Uh, While we're waiting, folks, I want to let you know our guests are linked in the description. In case you'd like to learn more about their views, you can click on their links below and hear plenty more. And that includes if you're listening via the podcast, all of our debates end up on the podcast. Within 24 hours of the debate being live, you can find our guest links there in the description box for each podcast episode as well. Okay. Uh, I have to. F I cannot find it, but uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist. No, 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 no. The, the Quran. Yeah. The Quran no, never no, no. says. The Quran never says that slavery is okay, uh, something me... evil and that you should get rid of it. What the Quran does okay, say, okay. what the Quran does encourage, uh, is occasionally in return for certain things to free a slave, for example. Okay, but it also tells you to take slaves and to keep and to, and to hold slaves and to use slaves. It also tells you to give money in charity while it tells you that Allah gives you provisions. So just because it tells you to free slaves in return for things, that doesn't mean you're supposed to get rid of slavery. That just means slavery. That just means a slave is a possession, a currency, which is why the Quran also speaks of slaves being owned by Muslims. Okay, let me... Um... I have look uh, one of the crimes of uh, in Quran. One of the crimes of uh, uh, Pharaoh was uh, slave enslaving people. Okay, that's why enslaving whom? Uh, uh, Bani Israel. Yeah, enslaving them, not enslaving yes. people. Uh, uh, slavery it was a crime. Okay. So Muhammad committed a crime too, then I guess. No. Okay. Let me. Um, okay. Uh, which you don't try. There is no, no Quran said. verse. Okay, yes. That, that is evil. Chapter 26, verse 22. Moses said, is this a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Okay. These are... Uh, in, in, enslaved whom? Can you children say that again? Of Israel, children okay, of okay. Israel. Okay. 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 So did you slavery. have enslaved the children of Israel? Uh, yeah. So slavery was a, was a crime. Okay. By Pharaoh. Okay. So Pharaoh said, Chapter 7, verse 127. We will slaughter their sons and keep their women alive. Indeed, we are subjecting uh, them. Okay? So, that many other verses. They, they said it, it is... Um, let me see. Okay, so, okay. so, the, so the Quran chapter says... 20, as you... ch chapter 23, verse 47. They said, should we believe to men like ourselves while their people are enslaved for us, okay. So these are several, many, many, many verses as well, okay. Okay, that, okay. So, so all, all you brought to me as a crime. As a crime. The, I asked you if there is a Quran verse which says that slavery is evil and that, sh that it should be abolished. Okay. You have not brought me such a thing. All you okay. have brought to me is that the Pharaoh apparently enslaved the children of Israel, okay. and this is uh, bad. He should not have done that. Okay. Uh, now, let me give you um, something to the contrary. Quran chapter 24, verse 32. Marry such of you who are uh, who are solitary and the pious of your slaves and your maid servants. Okay. Um, if a, a faithful slave girl is better than an idol, Quran 2 for, uh, verse 20, 221. Uh, a faithful slave is better than an idolater. Uh, it says in chapter 4, verse 24, also prohibited are women who are all mar already married except those whom your right hand possesses, which is uh, Islamic words, Islamic slang for slaves okay. uh, or servants. Uh, and those who guard their chastity, Quran 70, verse 30, uh, except with their wives and the captives whom their right hands possess. Okay. And so on. And as I 
uh, read to you earlier, is the slave and the owner whom we have given provisions equal to each other. Of course, they are not. So the okay. Quran speaks positively and approvingly, uh, at least in tolerance of slavery, and never calls it evil, never says that it should be abolished. Okay. There you uh, go. Yes. Uh, I said from beginning, uh, God didn't uh, mean to solve all problems immediately. Otherwise, he would create us, uh, he says in Quran, uh, Muslims, yeah. and that's why he sent us prophets one by one to teach us slowly, slowly, and it didn't mean to abolish slavery right away because it wasn't possible. It's like uh, I've said many times to people that it's like today we know that fossil fuel is bad for humanity, for environment, but we cannot stop it. We cannot uh, totally get rid of it. That's why we uh, try to create different ways, for example, putting tax and so on on it. And, and how, how did we come to the conclusion that fossil fuel is bad and that we, that we should decrease the use of it by putting taxes on it? Did Islam tell us that? I, I gave you an example that uh, is, is slavery wasn't uh, possible at that time. And I know, I'm, I'm just I'm just asking about your example. Yes. How, to, yeah. who, how did we come to the conclusion that Islam tell us that or did we come to that conclusion by ourselves? That, we, we came to this conclusion definitely ourselves, but so secularly, a, secularly no, with atheism. Yeah. No, uh, it, uh, I said this from the beginning. This civilization we have today is because of the teachings of God, uh, uh, Abrahamic religion that has taught us uh, until. Now. For example, I was going to ask you, uh, give you an example that uh, there is a nation. I'm not going to name them in the east, that um, far east, that they cook. Uh, dogs alive, they uh, boil uh, different, uh, you know, animals alive, okay? You could have, you could have just said it. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay, yes, the, uh, people know that, okay? But the same nation, they have 50 million people, okay, who are Muslims, they don't do such a uh, brutality. So we need God to teach us that these things are bad. In nature, we don't understand it ourselves, okay? So whatever we have today is because of Abrahamic religion, all right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they otherwise they would also understand that this is... I would, I would lovingly go into the... Uh... The, 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 the ethics behind eating different animals oh. and not eating other animals, uh, yes. which you can, by the way, never, ever justify and back up in a reasonable way with your Islamic beliefs. But that is completely off topic. I'm okay. still stuck on one thing. Uh, you say that uh, you say that the Quran. So we have established that the Quran does not say that uh, slavery is unanimously evil and that it must be abolished. It never says such a thing, nor, in, nor does it imply such a thing. On the contrary, it condones slavery in many verses now you tell you told me therefore uh allah sent different prophets like the prophet muhammad who taught us slowly how to do things including getting rid of slavery this implies that islam told you to get rid of slavery over time now where does it say that does it say that in the quran no okay uh, uh the quran says uh, definitely in many verses that the punishment of this and that is to free slaves, okay? And uh, I, those who understand it, uh, like that verses, those verses I, I read for you, that uh, slavery is a, is a crime, but it was a crime by uh, by Frau. It, it, it was a condemned by God, okay? So uh, that wasn't abolished right away, I told you, because it was too early, it wasn't possible. And you said that Quran says that fight disbelievers. Ah, by the way, you said that- you, you're, you're changing the topic way too quickly. Okay. We, have already, we have already established that the Quran only refers to the acts of the Pharaoh as evil, uh, okay. as, as atrocities. It never unanimously de declares that uh, slavery is evil. It condones slavery. And okay. according to the historical consensus, Muslims had slavery from the very beginning until today's time. All right. Yeah, Muslims, there's there's yeah. no reason for you, there right. is no All reason right. for us to ever think that Islam attempted to get rid of slavery. And we have also established that saying free slaves in return for you know certain sins does not mean that slavery is bad and they, they should get rid of it. Okay. Just as charity, giving in charity does not mean that you should abolish money. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. 
uh, Muslims were killing even each other. Okay, uh, that that doesn't mean that it was uh, Islamic. Uh, like even uh, uh, prophets, uh, 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 what is it? Companion. They were fighting each other, which Quran condemned it. Okay, so what Muslims were doing is not the. Uh, uh, you cannot say that this is Islam because Muslims did this and that. Okay, there are ISIS do a lot of ter- uh, terrible uh, bad things. Today. I'm not saying I'm not saying this is Islam because Muslims did it. I'm saying that there is no evidence. There is no reason for us to conclude that this is not okay. Islam. This I is gave my Islam. yeah. I gave my evidences, and uh, that's up to to uh, an individual to understand that when it is crime for um, you know for frau to do something then it's crying for everybody okay mm-hmm. so uh, let's let's go to disbelief from where you, you james how much how much time do we have okay only got about a few minutes before we go into the q a okay. can we do like a, a, maybe closing speeches or yes. something uh, if you guys uh, r- prefer no red one red one let me ask you where in quran said go and kill disbelievers you said that uh, quran said Oh yeah, sure. It says it says uh, in Quran chapter nine verse twenty nine. Uh, I love that verse. I love citing okay. that verse. Right. It says it says exactly in these words in Quran chapter nine verse twenty nine. Fight those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day, and who do not consider unlawful what Allah and His Messenger have made unlawful, and who do not adopt the religion of truth from those who were given the scripture. This is a poorly worded. It's, it's from among those who were given the scripture until they give the jizya willingly while they are humbled. So the command is to fight those who don't believe in Allah and his messenger uh, if they don't adopt the true religion until they pay you protection right. money. Okay, let me tell uh, I said from beginning that uh, like ISIS and Taliban take one verse of Quran uh, and say that this is, uh, you know, this is uh, all, okay. Uh, chapter 16, verse 83 says, they recognize the favor of Allah. They denied. Who are they? Can you tell me, Red One? Who are they? Do you tell me? You were reading. Okay. Something. It says they recognize the disbelievers. The Allah, they, exactly. Disbelievers. Yeah. Then they rec- they deny. It, and the most of them are kafir. Okay. Why not all of them? If disbelief is kof, then why not all of them are kafir? Chapter 98, verse 1. Those who commit kafir amount. The people of the scripture and the polistics did not give up their coffer until there came to them clear evidence. So if, uh, uh, you know, p- people of the book are kafir, according you and according ISIS and Taliban, okay? If, according you, they are kafir, then why among them are kafir, okay? Not all of them. Because it speaks about sure. about those who deny Allah's favors mm-hmm. and says that most ah, of them so, are, are are kafir. Yes, in, yes. In, the, in the in the in the first verse that you cited, the context of the first verse is explicitly that Allah creates people for worship, uh, but but then uh, He gives them favors and they do not recognize His favors and they do not appreciate it because they are, uh, they are they are they are kafir and they do not know. No, so they are kafir. What, what, are, what are, kafir. are you getting at here? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, chapter two, verse thirty-four. Uh, because you, you, uh, they, they say that this is disbelief. Chapter two, verse thirty-four. When we told the angel bow down before Adam, they all bowed, but not at least who refused and was arrogant, and he became a kafir. Yeah. Satan, Satan, how he could become kafir when if. Uh, kofr is disbelief then how when he was talking to allah he was serving allah he because knew, he because he denied allah. allah because he denied allah this I is know. a this is a he very this is a very he simple did. because he denied uh belief yeah. in allah this is a very simple islamic concept every single muslim who is here in the chat will agree with me here and okay. and know that this is a very simple concept in islam a kafir is not somebody who does not know or believe in the existence of allah a kafir is by definition somebody who rejects 
Islam, who reject the belief in Allah, including those who know that Islam is true, who know that Allah exists. This is an Islamic claim mentioned in the Quran many times, who know that Allah exists, but they deny it knowingly, including those people are a kafir, and they are horrible people, according to Islam. Every single Muslim here in the chat knows about this. I, okay, okay maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe there are two yeah, or three people who don't know. Maybe much. there are two or three people who don't know about okay. that. But this is a very simple Islamic concept. Kafir is somebody who denies, who rejects, which is why Satan, okay. according to the Islamic uh, tradition, when he knows that Allah exists, but denies him and does not believe and does not follow him, does not become an obedient Muslim, becomes a kafir. And I don't know why you're diverting from this, because the, the Quran verse that I cited clearly says, fight those who do not believe and who do, not, ad <laughs> and who do not adopt the religion of truth. Okay, or I told you that you take one verse and say, when you put it beside all these verses, okay, chapter uh, 49, verse 13, say, oh, mankind, it doesn't say, oh, Muslim. Okay, what does say, it say in Quran, chapter 9, say, verse 29? All right, okay, say, oh, mankind, indeed, we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing, Allah is aware, okay? So Allah says, oh mankind, it doesn't say, oh Muslims, okay? And I read for you chapter 107, verse one to seven, that it doesn't mean if you believe or you disbelieve, when you do not follow his command to feed, uh, you know, orphans, to feed the poor, then you deny his, uh, you know, his uh, commands. So- Okay, what does it say in Quran chapter nine, nine uh, verse 29? I, I told you that you take one verse of Quran and say- uh, I, that, You said that many times. So what okay. does it say in the verse that I cited to you? Okay, but what, I, I understand what you, uh, what you recited to me, okay? Okay, so when, it, okay. it says fight All those right. who do not believe. The okay. word here is, is not is not cover or anything. It explicitly okay. says fight those who do not believe, yu'minuna, which is Arabic for, uh, you know, believing, okay. putting faith into, uh, in the last day or Allah and uh, his messenger and who do not adopt what Allah and his messenger made uh, unlawful and who do not adopt the religion Religion of truth, Deen al haqi okay. from those who were given the scripture. It okay. never talks about the oppressors or anything like that. Okay. It talks about those who do not believe. Okay, let me uh, let me read for you. Uh, I will explain for you what I want it to give says, you guys okay? a chance to do your closing okay. statement soon if you're ready for them. Okay, let me let me please read this one for him. Okay, chapter three, verse seven says, uh, "It is he who has sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book." In it are verses that are precise. They are the foundation of the book and others unspecific. As for those whose heart is corrupted, like Ridwan and ISIS and Taliban, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, they are, uh, sorry, uh, others are unspecific. As for those whose heart is uh, corrupted, they will follow that of which is unspecific, like you and them, okay? Desiring, like me, me uh, Taliban, yeah. and ISIS. ISIS yeah, desiring, <laughs> no, desiring, desiring to c create confusion and their own interpretation. And no that, that, one. That's very, that's very right. convenient to invoke this when you and, don't and no want to make sense of a Quran verse. I'm still asking and, you, what does the Quran verse say? Right, right. I'm going to tell you. And no one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those firm in knowledge. And so, they say, no, it, it should say, except Allah and the perfect Dawah. No, no. And those firm in knowledge. How those firm in knowledge understand the true meaning of that, the, these verses, is uh, that they put. Though that verse you read, okay, they put it uh, beside, uh, let me see. Uh, do, you, beside, do you know the true meaning? Uh, okay, okay, let me explain. They put it beside chapter 60, verse 8. Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of religion and do not expel you from your homes, from being righteous towards them and uh, acting justly towards them. Indeed, Allah loves those who act justly so when you put that verse beside this verse then you understand that i'm not going to fight you kill you because you are not killing me. Um, I, that, that, not that, does it does it say in that verse that you are not supposed to fight them no it says allah does not forbid you look it doesn't even say do this it says allah 
does not forbid you from being righteous and just toward those who yes, did not yes. fight you. Exactly. He does not forbid right. you from being righteous okay. and just. Does okay. it say be peaceful? Does it say yes. don't fight them? No. Justice, justice is, as I said in the very beginning, relative, whomever you ask. Islam's justice is obviously that if you encounter the disbelievers, you fight them and humiliate them and take protection money from them because they don't adopt the true beliefs. I will ask you one final time. In Quran chapter 9, verse 29, it says, fight those who do not believe explicitly in Allah and who do not believe in the last day and don't adopt the religion of truth. Okay. Fight them until they give you the protection money, the jizya. What does it say here? Why does it say this? Okay, let me, uh, okay. Uh, let me tell you that, okay. Because... Um, you, can, you can do your closing speech for that if you want to. I'm not gonna... Two seconds. Right. Okay, uh, uh, I, I cannot find it right now. Um, okay, it says Quran. I in thought many, so. Yes, yes. No, I, I, I will. I, if you give me time, I will uh, uh, give you fight. Uh, Allah says in many verses, okay, uh, many verses, fight as long as they fight. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, I found it. Chapter 4, verse 89. They wish that you should be a kafir just as they are kafirs. Uh, so that you may all be uh, uh, alike. Do not, therefore, take uh, uh, from them allies until they emigrate in the way of Allah. But if they turn their backs, uh, seize them and slay them wherever you uh, come upon them. Take none of them uh, for your ally helper. Next verse is, unless it be such of them who seek refuge with the people who are joined with you <clears throat> by uh, a fantastic you just shot yourself yes. at the foot great yeah okay well great. Yeah. or those who come to you because their hearts shrink from fighting either against you or against their own people had allah so will he would certainly have given them power over you and they would have fought against you if they leave you alone thank you you they, have just shut yourself oh, in the foot you can no, keep reciting no, great good, good job they, congratulations people lord people listening if they leave you alone and do not fight you against you and offer you peace then allah does not permit you to fight uh, to harm them. Chapter 4, uh, next verse also says that 491, you will find others who wish to obtain security from you and obtain security from the, their people. Every time they are returned to state of oppression, uh, they all back to into it. So it... Uh, I think uh, we all, I think we all got it. Come on. All right. Chapter 6, uh, 8, verse uh, yeah. 61. I want to give you they, another 20 seconds to finish up, Nick, okay. or uh, uh, let me, let me, hour, and then we have let to let go me, into the yeah, closing yeah, statement. Let me read this one. Chapter 8, verse 61. And if they cl uh, incline to peace, then incline to it and rely upon Allah. Indeed, it is he who is... Uh, the hearing, the not many, many verses, and you take like I and then and then humiliate them and take protection yeah, money from them because no, that's what Allah is, commands you, you to know, do. No, it is job. just it is just tax, like everyone. I'm um, giving tax also. It is just a normal tax, okay? It is. It's, just, not, it's not. It's not. Ju it's not just a normal yeah, tax. Do Muslims all? Do Muslims also give jizya? No, only non-Muslims no, no. give jizya. Okay, what right. happens if non-Muslims don't give jizya? They lose protection from the Islamic State and can be killed no, and they are fair game that's that, that what it, that's what it is it, it, thank it you for say. thank you for this great job well done let's go okay. to the closing okay. speeches please all right but we're gonna uh, jump let, into let, yes yes i want to give you each five minutes we had if i remember i just right, need one i just need one minute you got it if we remember if i remember right perfect awa you started at the very start and so we'll give you a chance to start with the closings as well five minutes and then we'll go over to apostate prophet for five minutes followed by q a so folks if you happen to have a question we do have a pretty good long list so we want to make our q a short and pithy so we can't guarantee we'll get through new questions but we're going to move through there as fast as possible and with that perfect dawah the floor is all yours okay i i would like to say that uh uh, as I said, um, uh, he just uh, take every uh, trash he hear here, uh, different uh, fabricated hadiths. He just use them because he like to, you know, uh, 
demonizing Islam and Muslims. And as I said, uh, uh, it is difficult definitely for somebody like him to understand such a vast, uh, you know, difficult subject when he doesn't understand that simple thing that in 21st century he doesn't judge an existing organization. And I would give you uh, this opportunity, uh, AP, that you bring uh, along with you your friend, uh, uh, you know, uh, that um, Susanna or... Um, well, uh, Nab Nababi, okay? B uh, along uh, with them, you can sit in your channel and prove me that my organization is uh, a terrorist organization. If you can't do that, then I can understand that you know you don't just take uh, uh, every rubbish and demonize Islam, okay? Because somebody who cannot understand this simple thing that in 21st century, you could at least ask me Muji, what do you think about this, uh, you know, documentary uh, Al Jazeera has made? Okay, so that I would give you uh, the, the the proof, the evidence that they are just made up by Iranian fascist regime. And by the way, Al Jazeera is a state government, Qatar state government. Uh, you know, uh, um, um, uh, what is it? Um, company and uh, Qatar is an ally country to Iranian regime that is. Uh, uh, you know, even under sanction, but by Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, UAE, and uh, Egypt and Bahrain because of its close, uh, uh, you know, ties with Iran. And you take that rubbish, uh, you know, uh, report against, uh, and you say we know that your organization is a terrorist organization. How do you know in 21st century that uh, a great organization that is fighting against the Godfather of international terrorism is a terrorist organization? Such a people like you would never know that Prophet Muhammad never said such a trash that you take everywhere and say that he married, a, you know, a six years old uh, girl or he said kill apost uh, apostate and so on. So people like you should learn how to judge. You have to, you know, uh, you know, uh, study uh, correctly. You have to uh, understand, uh, you know, things um, better, not just like uh, like. You know, say that. Oh, okay. I I, I see this uh, evidence is enough for me. All right. You got it. Thank you very much for that closing. We'll kick it over to AP as well for his floor is all yours. Thank you so much. I don't think anybody really cared about most of that part uh, about the organization, but I appreciate your uh, closing speech. Uh, thanks everyone for uh, this opportunity. We, um, it, I think it's it's very obvious uh, what's going on here. The Quran is not a hard book to understand. It's not hard to understand. Islam is not difficult to understand. It is all very simple, which is why very simple people with very simple minds in the seventh century in a, in a very simple uh, region uh, followed it and understood it and applied it with all brutality by declaring war and, expand, and, and expanding with brutalities, with atrocities, and thereby making it the religion that, that grew almost exclusively through warfare, through expansion. Most of the Muslims that exist today in the world uh, are Muslims because their ancestors at some point were brutally conquered and subjugated and subdued by Muslims, uh, by the uh, Islamic religion and doctrine. The Quran is not hard to understand. It's very simple. Uh, we have demonstrated today as well that the Quran clearly and explicitly says that Muslims are supposed to fight those who do not believe in Allah and the last day, who do not believe in Muhammad and who do not adopt the Islamic religion. It very clearly and explicitly says so in chapter 9, verse 29. And Muji here has repeatedly refused to comment on that and repeatedly refused to explain to us what in the world that means. It does not talk about oppressors. It talks about those who don't believe explicitly and literally. That is what Islam is. That's how Islam spread. Islam commanded throughout its history because it's commands so in the, in the book, in its scripture, that that you fight those who don't believe in Islam and you subjugate them and take protection money from them. If they don't give you the protection <coughs> money, if they don't become your subjects, then they are to be fought and killed and enslaved. This is not something that I'm just coming up with, uh, that I'm saying. You will find many people in our time, I posted uh, many videos of those scholars, many people in our time who will say the exact same things. And those people, by the way, are not part of ISIS or Taliban or whatever it is. They are just the regular Muslim scholars and apologists who actually know what they're talking about. 
We're going to jump in. Uh, the just, just like that, just like that in the past, there were also scholars uh, who explicitly said that it is the Islamic uh, community's mission to establish a, cal a caliphate and to spread Islam by preaching or by force. There is no reason to follow this barbaric religion. Its claims are nonsense. Its politics bring suffering and nothing else. I'm sad that we didn't talk about atheism versus Islam at all because Islam is just too much bad stuff to talk about. Thank you. We're going to jump into the Q&A. I want to remind you folks, our guests are linked in the description box below. And interestingly, we're doing a poll. 7% of the people watching right now, there's about 588. So popular debate for sure. About 8% here for the first time. 61%, pretty high, have checked out links from guests in the past to learn more about their views. And only 32% said no, that they have not. So really we have our guest links in the description you can learn more about their views those links are waiting there right now for you folks as we really do appreciate our guests they're the lifeblood of the channel they make it fun here and let's jump into the q a you guys make it fun as well we appreciate all of your questions thanks for your support of the channel one way you can do that as well is hitting that like button for real that will make it so that this debate will be seen by more people as the youtube algorithm is influenced by how many likes a video gets. Dave Dahlia for thanks for your kind words as we love James. I appreciate your support. Dave Molly Atat says, Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank you. Notion Slave says, Why do two people argue publicly? They say gay gayet and an Islamic degree first. Okay, so they're saying you need an Islamic degree. Would you guys have something in response in terms of informal studies being useful as well? I am uh, pursuing an education and going into the direction of taking uh, religious courses as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm dealing with that with that issue uh, directly. But I have also uh, practiced uh, Islam and read tons of books over the years about Islamic jurisprudential law, Hadith studies, uh, Quran studies, theology, and so on. Uh, you can learn all of that without getting a degree. You can, it's, Islam is not that difficult to understand. Okay, um, I would like to also answer that uh, uh, depend on where you uh, get your degree. <clears throat> okay, if you go uh, like um, Perhaps uh, <clears throat> AP has gotten his degree from those madrasas, uh, Taliban. Uh, they they have they have <laughs> because you exactly like them take one verse of Quran and ignore all other verses of Quran that says do not fight those who do not fight you, and you know you take just one verse and say that okay that's all okay it's exactly what they do, and um, I have been also myself uh, self studying uh, a lot different uh, you know. Uh, uh, views and uh, of Islam and <clears throat> Quran. Uh, so, uh, uh, it, as I said, uh, there are many, many scholars <clears throat> who study uh, many, many years and make it their their job, uh, their business. Okay, and they they don't care about the true Islam, so they follow just mainstream uh, uh, Islam because they need they think about their their job, their business. That's why they don't go against these uh, uh, trash hadiths and so on. They just uh, follow it. And uh, that's why they, um, you know, <clears throat> uh, that's why AP and people like him say that, oh, look, look, look these are look, I, We look, have to yes, move forward. Yes. I hate to do this, but just to stick with the uh, questions themselves. Thanks very yes. much. Ken Hoven, CPA says, let's see. Perfect Dawa sounds like Kent Hoven. Are you a fan of Kent? I don't know who he's counting. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, Notion I'm, Slave, I'm let's, this one, Extra Delight, says, Perfect Dawa, why aren't you for union organizations for workers? This would help with the problems that you're talking about, such as poor people, prostitutes, sex trafficking, all workers. Okay, that's a, I think it's a painkiller. These things are good, but they are painkiller because the source exists, and we have to get rid of the source, which is in Abrahamic religion. It is Satan, okay? And God wants us to get rid of the Satan. And the source, when the source is gone, everything will be gone. The, when the cancer is gone, uh, all pains in the entire body will, uh, you know, go away. Uh, by, uh, you know, painkiller, you just uh, help it a little bit. So that's why um, 
these are good, yeah, but not uh, the, the final answer. You got it, and thank you very much for your question. Oflamio says, are atheists also polytheists? Are polytheists also atheists? I guess that's a question for Muji because he conflated those things at the very beginning. He said that atheism brought us you know, gladiators and crucifixion and stuff like that. I, I think they, they are kind of the same because, <clears throat> yeah, they, their uh, ideas, uh, for me, <clears throat> I'm not going to, uh, you know, talk about uh, their religion. <clears throat> Just I say this much because I usually <clears throat> like to not to attack other uh, religions as long as they don't, uh, you know, harm people. <clears throat> so uh, I respect their their beliefs as long as they respect my belief, as long as they are not going to harm anybody. Even <clears throat> within Islam, if somebody, you know... So, some, so some, people who don't believe in God, who don't believe in divine beings are basically the same as people who sacrifice humans for gods. Fantastic. Great analogy. I, I didn't understand what you said. I didn't understand. Uh, AP, okay? Uh, okay? Can you repeat it again? I said, so by that logic, people who don't believe in God are are just like people who believe in multiple gods and who sacrifice things, including humans, for their gods. Very great okay. understanding. No, I, I didn't say that. No. I say that, I have always say, said that, a person who doesn't believe in God and, you know, following those commands of Allah uh, and how people feeding, you know, poor and, uh, you know, uh, helping orphans and so on, they are much better, uh, you know, uh, Allah says that, oh, mankind, okay, the best of you uh, in the sight of Allah is the most righteous one. So they are much, much better than those who believe and go and kill innocent people like ISIS and Taliban. So that's my belief, and I have uh, given the, the verses of Quran that, uh, you know, being righteous doesn't mean that you have to believe, as you said uh, in your past, uh, you know, uh, your past um, debate, you said that, oh, uh, 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 what is it, um, uh, a Jew uh, will go to hell. No, according to Islam, a Jew is not going to hell, an atheist is not going to hell, as long as you do not, you do not, you know, commit such a barbaric is, that's, that's very, very off topic, please. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Thank you very much for your question. Coming in from James Kraus says, one, how did Dawah come to such knowledge of Islam? And two, how can he dismiss others who use the same technique but came to a different conclusion than him? Um, how I came to this conclusion, uh, he asked, because, uh, I mean, true studying, so... I don't know uh, those as I, I explained that why they didn't come uh, to this conclusion because to this conclusion because first of all they were uh, it, it was past time their knowledge was limited and as I said that uh, many of them they were just following their teachers their teachers were also following their teachers and so on and uh, many of them were uh, businessmen and uh, uh, religion in, in, it is in all religions religion was their their business okay so when they come they grow up they just follow their their business what, what their teacher had uh, taught them so that's uh, that i i can say why they didn't uh, come to this conclusion you got it and thanks for your question no valve gate says if the origin of the quran is comparable to the book of mormon would it then be fair to dismiss it just as easily to whom is that <clears throat> I'm not sure. Probably to I, you. I, I don't know. I don't know Book of Mormon, so I don't know what he meant with that. I don't know the Book of Mormon. I would and say I, yes. <laughs> and I don't, as I said, I don't uh, judge people uh, based on their beliefs. So I, I don't uh, talk against their, their beliefs. This one from Anton Gomez says, question, have either of you performed the Hajj? And do you think it is a positive thing in Islam since it's very good exercise? Uh, I did not. I had the chance, but did not take it. My parents did um, when I was much younger. So when I was a teenager, uh, that's all I uh, can say from experience about it. Uh, <laughs> is, is, is the question supposed to be funny? Because it kind of is. Uh... I don't know. But this one coming in from Joe Schwartz says, Perfect Awa. What can atheism learn from Islam? Um a lot. I, I uh, read few, um, you know, few verses of uh, Quran. Uh, I said, um, stand uh, firm for Allah and bear true tes uh, testimony 
Do not let the hatred of people lead you uh, to injustice. Of course, the um, uh, AP reject them, uh, you know, try to twist them, which is very, very obvious for any rational person to understand. Quran chapter 2, verse 263. A kind word and forgiveness is better than charity followed by injury. And Allah is... Ah, okay, I, I will tell you like this. Hey, guys, moment. be just. Okay, you know what to do. All right. Uh, we, we don't uh, discuss that one. As a, uh, as a former atheist, I'm much better human being today than I was uh, in the past. As an atheist, if you ask me, what is the, do you believe in death penalty? I would say yes. But today I say no. We have no right to judge anybody. Uh, that, that, sorry, is, that is punish, your fault. Punish, punish anybody. Okay. That is your fault. That has nothing to do with your beliefs. Okay. This one coming yes, in from, okay. oh, they actually had one for you as well, AP. They said, what can atheism learn from Islam? Or what can Islam um, learn from atheism? Sorry about that. What can Islam learn from atheism? Correct. Okay. Uh, <coughs> what can Islam learn from atheism? Um, to value uh, knowledge, to keep an open mind, uh, to not blindly believe in all kinds of um, superstitious, nonsensical beliefs and to judge independently by human rationality instead of sticking to some 7th century atrocities. This one from Aaron Johnson says, actually, Zafoxy, thanks for your kind words, says James, I'm digging the beard, I appreciate that. Aaron Johnson says, both, the Quran allows you to marry other people's wives in 2 verse 24. Can atheism come up with a better rule for war captives? They said Muslim has to admit yes. But For I guess let's say there are captives from a war. Can atheism come up with a better rule for war captives than allowing you to marry other people's wives? I maybe assume they, they mean polygamy, but I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, the, the Quran does, uh, or, or the Quran and the Hadith do condone the practice of um, marrying slaves that you own which Muslims take from their enemies whom they whom they beat. Uh, the logic there is then that their that the marriages to their current husbands are become invalid because as slaves of the Muslims, they now have a new contract with the Muslims and their marriages with their uh with, with their disbelieving husbands are no longer applicable. Um which is of course a very, very nice system. Yeah. <laughs> uh of course you can you can uh, get away from that and come with all kinds of different independent ideas such as not taking female slaves and, and abusing them yeah any thoughts perfect Awa? uh i have to um say that uh, i haven't been uh, you know studying that one closely but uh, i know that um, is it is uh, not allowed that you just have sex with uh, you know anyone and uh, you have to marry them and marriage should be uh you know willingly because if it is unwillingly then it is uh you know rape and it is not legal okay so this is um i, I know uh, in many verses of quran of course that uh, you have to marry them you cannot force them to even you cannot force them to to prostitution okay this one coming in from, do appreciate your question. Anton Gomez says for both, is it possible that Muhammad was killed in the Battle of Uhud and it was covered up later in writing or by a lookalike replacement? Uh, I heard such a theory before. I had such, such theories before that Muhammad died before or that Muhammad lived actually uh, longer and was there during the conquest of Jerusalem and things like that. But honestly, I haven't really... Um, thought about them that much haven't really considered that important but thank you any thoughts perfect dawa no of course the, i don't believe definitely that's gotcha uh, that, that he he died naturally um, at the age of 63 and he gave his final speech as well but the quran doesn't say that does it <laughs> no, no the, the quran doesn't say that but the history says that of course Mike. but he Mike. Uh, there, there is a verse. Sorry, there is a verse that say that I, I complete my favor upon you. That that verse is the final verse of uh, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, sorry, God, of course, in in Quran. Yes. Not, but, yeah. This is. one, 
coming in from. Do appreciate it, Mike. Q922, thanks for your super sticker support. And Zavoxy says, I've spoken to a few Muslims and they told me that the Hadiths were all meaningless since they were not part of the Quran. What's both debaters' opinion on this? Pardon my ignorance. Um, well, the, 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 the idea that all Hadiths are invalid and unimportant is a very unpopular belief in the Muslim world that, that very few people follow. Uh, and most of those who do follow such a belief are ignorant people who don't really have much of an understanding of uh, of, of Islam and Islamic studies. Uh, if you want to dismiss Hadith entirely, then you also have to dismiss the Quran because you have no way of verifying that the Quran that you read today was indeed um, revealed and transcribed and, uh, you know, compiled by righteous people and brought to you. Uh, so that's that's a very shaky uh, idea to hold on to. There are some people who say that most hadiths are unreliable, or those hadiths that contradict with the Quran are unreliable. Uh, the most popular belief is that there is an established thing called hadith studies, which is a complex study of uh, reports about things that Muhammad said and did, and that his companions said and did. And among those, many hadiths are verifiable, and some are considered uh, definitely true, because they are. it's impossible to make them up, even by Shia Muslims. And um, I'm somewhere in between there. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah, I can say uh, that. Um, the, of course, there are hundreds of thousands of fabricated hadiths, but uh, there are authentic hadiths that uh, we need them. And I have had debate with uh, those Quranists who did reject all hadiths, and uh, one of them is the the dress of um, equality in Mecca when we wear that. Uh, stoning the, the Satan, they are not in Quran. So if we don't follow the Hadith, then uh, how do we know what to do in, in, you know, in Hajj? You got it. And thank you very much for this question. Coming in from Luigi Santoriello. Perfect Dawah, you should apologize to Ridvan, a.k.a. Apostate Prophet, for comparing him with ISIS and Taliban. This is frankly disgusting. All right. <laughs> now, um, I say uh, that the, the way I compare him in that way, that they do the same thing. They take one. I didn't say that he's uh, like them. He's killing people and so on. But this part that they he take also one verse of Quran and say that's all. OK, it's the same way they are doing. You now, definitely he's not like them to go and kill people around, okay? But- I'm also like Hitler, uh, I drink. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you compare, no, uh, that's, if you say, if you said that uh, Jews are, uh, you know, are so and so, then I could compare you in that particular part, uh, like Hitler, okay? I, I don't but, say that, but I know a religion, a prophet and a religious book uh, that say some very bad things about Jews. No, that, again, we have to, I have to go and I said, again, you take one verse, not other verses that Allah says about Jews and Christians that they go to heaven, they get their rewards and so on. You ignore them, okay? Like oh, them, like them, you ignore them and take just that verse that make your agenda and say, that's all, that's Quran. No, that's not, okay? So I told you that you have to put them beside other verses of Quran to take the true interpretation of them, okay? Yes. You got it, Anne. Thank you very much for your question. This one coming in from Mali Atat said, Perfect Dawa, did you come here to debate the topic or attack apostate prophet for his past beef? I came to debate, definitely, yes. And to, because uh, I, uh, apostate prophet, he's uh, spreading hate against Muslims and Islam. So I'm here to uh, I was here to prove that his judgment is based on wrong information and he cannot, uh, you know, judge a, a simple thing that is going on in 21st century, how he can judge what happened 1400 years ago. If a judge doesn't judge correctly when uh, you have the fingerprint, you have the DNA, everything, and you make a mistake, then how you can trust such a judge anymore? You yes. got it. Thank you very much for your question. This one coming in from Azri. Let me Azri Schizophrenia says, "Hey AP, you will fight something that causes harm, will you not? Or are you a pacifist, thus justifying kill of, killing each other, i.e., evil?" <laughs> 
Uh, I wouldn't call it evil. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly not um, against violence uh, and fighting all together. Um, I, I would say, I of, of course, I believe in um, if I see that somebody is being attacked or abused or if somebody is attacking me, that I will uh, you know, use the means to defend myself or, or to defend another uh, victim. If people are oppressors in the world, I will... I, I find it justifiable to use force to stop uh, the oppressors, of course. But generally, I think I am very, very pacifistic. You got it. This one come, coming in from your, am I saying it right? Your, let me know. They say, perfect Allah. Allah will torture unbelievers with fire forever. He is the creator of hell. He is strong and will torture the weak forever. Do you submit out of fear, therefore? No, I, uh, <clears throat> I've said it. Uh, uh, many times that um, I converted to Islam not because uh, God exists um, or Islam is the final message of God because I converted to Islam because Islam can uh, solve our problems uh, in this world. Uh, the Almighty God uh, must be able to help us to guide us out of these problems we, are, we have. If he cannot, then uh, I don't see any reason that why I'm not worshiping God. Definitely, I'm just obeying him. And this worship is a very wrong word because he doesn't need uh, me, as, uh, you know, who is nothing on this planet comparing to, to this uh, vast universe that he needs me to worship him. No, he needs me to obey him because of myself, because of my own kind. OK, because he wants us to live. He loves us and he wants us to live in a good world a peaceful full world and unfortunately um people like ap they spread uh, you know hate against others and that's uh I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 have, I, have, I cannot respect this i have to stop you with okay. that bullshit there please stop saying uh, dumb yeah. stuff like you're spreading hate against others i do not spread hate against others or against groups of people your fellow believers and your book definitely does that i certainly do not and the question that was asked to you was uh about the disbelievers going to hell and being burnt there forever which no. the quran says over and over again so no, please yeah, stick to the right. topic stop with those lies you're okay. being very uh uh, You're filthy yeah. right now. Yes, because the, you do that, and I said that, uh, I have said it, uh, uh, that uh, is not the disbelievers, even ISIS and Taliban, for their crimes they will uh, be punished, is not for your belief or disbelief. Uh, I have read for you uh, different verses of Quran, Quran that uh, the best of you front of Allah, all mankind, the best of you front of Allah is the most righteous one. So you do good deeds, then you will be rewarded. Many, many other verses I can read, but unfortunately we don't have such as time. Such as Quran 72, 23, which says, I, uh, whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, then indeed for him is the fire of hell. They will abide therein forever. Wow. Okay. Again, you read one, you read one verse of Quran. There are many verses of Quran that says, uh, and let's, let's just let's like, just ignore this one and look yes. at the nice yeah. ones. No, ah, uh, yeah, okay. So let's ignore the, those, and you just take this one, yeah. So either I don't, I don't, I take all of them into I take all of them into consideration. You no, just ignore either, this one. Yes, yes. No, no, this I one. don't ignore it. I just interpret it. Okay, th this one in favor of those that Allah says that enter my paradise for what you used to do. Okay, and even Allah says that. Those who see the fire say that, oh, Allah, send us back, back to the earth so that we do good deeds. It doesn't say that send us back, back to the earth so that we believe. It says send us back so that we do good yeah, deeds. Cool, okay? cool story. Yeah. Right. Yes. This one coming in from Vulcan of Nocturne. Thanks for your question. This is from the chat. We've got to a couple of standard questions, and we've got to wrap up because I want to get the speakers out of here by a decent time. They've already been with us for about two hours. So Vulcan of Nocturne, thanks for your question. Said, ask that question again. Okay, never mind. That was just something about the poll. What a wasted question. <laughs> Let me find one that came in recently. This one came in from everybody. By the way, i got to tell you, folks. It's, I'd, I'd say it's a small percent of every camp has some people in it that are desperate to say, well, you're being biased against my group. And it's like, oh my gosh, you, you phrased that question so biased. I'm like, you guys, seriously. But like I said, 99% of you are reasonable and not constantly playing the victim and saying that you're being 
persecuted against. Like I said, it's people from every camp, so I'm not picking on any particular group. Tomzo says, for Dawa, why didn't Allah just tell Muhammad detailed scientific facts? Wouldn't that have meant he and the first Muslims would be the most advanced? Uh, I didn't understand exactly what he meant that. Can you please explain what he meant with that? That uh, Allah should give scientific why, why facts? Why didn't Allah reveal um, you know, true scientific facts to Muhammad so that the Muslims would be knowledgeable and the most advanced people? Uh, <clears throat> that because uh, Quran is not the, the book of science, uh, that's uh, we uh, he knows he knew that we can come up uh, with everything ourselves. He gave us the intelligence to uh, you know to come up with these things ourselves. He just wanted to guide us to uh, a better um, moral world. Okay, how we can live, how we can love one another, and the rest he knows that uh, he knew that we are intelligent enough to understand to find out our problems okay and, and solve them the the for example the scientific um, you know parts it's all so convenient all the answers okay <laughs> want to say we appreciate our guests both apostate prophet and perfect Dawah are linked in the description box as we said earlier the most recent poll showed 65 percent of people do check out guest links in the description box at least once and so hey if you want to learn more about their views that includes if you're listening via the modern day debate podcast we put our guest links in the description box there as well one last thank you apostate prophet and perfect Dawah. it's been a true pleasure to have you guys with us just thank you, I, yes. thank I, you I, so I, much yeah, thank you i just would like to say that right away i go live for those who want to ask me question, uh, you know, directly, I uh, will be there. Uh, and uh, AP should also, I would like to uh, suggest you, you should also sometimes have, you know, live stream so that people ask you not that you are totally unavailable. I will, I, I'm live every uh, weekend and people can call me and ask me question directly because I'm not afraid of my, my beliefs, okay? So I've I, had enough I of you. I'm, I'm, I will surely not have you on. Yes. I've had enough of you. Yes. By now. Yes. But uh, thanks, uh, everyone, for watching. Uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, of a jerk today. I'm very tired. I pretty much no sleep at night. Uh, but thanks so much, James, for hosting this. Thank you, Perfect Dawa, for uh, offering this debate. Uh, thanks, everyone, and stay away from Islam. Thank, Thank you, everyone, you. and Thank follow Islam. <laughs> Thank you both. We appreciate it. And I'm going to be back in just a moment, folks, with an update on upcoming debates. My dear friends, we're just getting warmed up. There's going to be a lot of juicy ones, in particular at the bottom right of your screen. Vosh and Dr. Bogardis debate next week on whether or not trans women are women. It's going to be controversial, to say the least. Hit that subscribe button, because you don't want to miss out on that one. I'll tell you about other upcoming debates in just a moment in that post credit scene. So stick around. My dear friends, thrilled to have you here. Mike Q922, I see you there in the old live chat. Pony Girl, glad to see you in the live chat as well. Hey there, Tooth Fairy and Jabba, happy to have you. The Moorish, glad you're here. Asri Schizophrenia, happy to have you. Jabba, good to have you with us. And Bella Nova, thanks for dropping in. Isra, good to see you again. Suman B, happy to have you. Johanna, hope you're doing well. Norman Conti, thanks for dropping in. And AA, good to see you again. Andrew Martin, happy to have you here. Terry Taylor, glad to have you with us. Al Solmo, happy you're back. Gray Jedi, good to see you again. Araf Jan, thanks for dropping in. Perpetually Annoyed, good to see you as always, a regular here. Jay Diaz, good to see you. Glad to have you here, says Daniel Hakikaju versus Dirt Perfect Dawa. Hey, maybe. We are excited about a lot of upcoming debates. I want to say hi to more of you in the old live chat, but let me tell you about some of these juicy upcoming debates. In particular, I had already mentioned the one that you can see at the bottom right of your screen, but hey, there are a lot of other ones you don't want to miss out on. Let me show you some of these other examples, my dear friends. So, in particular, 
This Sunday, T-Jump and Taylor, newcomer, she's been here once before. She'll be back on Sunday. She's working on her PhD, I think, in biology. She is going to be back. It's going to be a juicy one, namely a debate on, you could say, intelligent design. So I think whether you be Christian, atheist, Muslim, I think anybody would find that interesting. And thanks for coming by. Sean West says, love this. Thanks for your support, as well as thanks for your support. L Solmo says, thank you, James. Always nice to be here. You're doing a great job. Thanks so much. And we hope you feel welcome, whether you be Muslim, atheist, Christian, you name it. We are striving to be a neutral platform, hosting debates on every topic where everybody will feel welcome as people get to make their case on a level playing field. That's important to us. That's our vision. And we are passionate and determined to fulfill that vision. And we are just a small channel. We are grateful for all of your guys' support. It is going to be modern day debate to the moon. We are going to continue growing and pursuing that vision and providing that vision, namely providing a level playing field for everybody to make their case on YouTube. That's important to us. And I've got to say, we are so thankful for all of your support, you guys. When you do things like, hey, we are, right now we're at 281 likes. We are only 19 likes away from 300 during the live debate, which is quite good. This is a big debate. People really showed up for this one. So that's cool. And I want to say, hey, that's one way that does help. So if you thought that your side was more persuasive today, and I'm very serious about this, and you're like, yeah, I, I do think my side was more persuasive today, you can hit that like button because that will make it such that more people will see this debate in which you thought that your representative was most persuasive. So if you want to help, you could say, people see a strong intellectual defense of your position, clicking that like button really does help more people see it as YouTube's algorithms do factor in the amount of likes as an indicator of how much people enjoy a video. And so that really does help, not only in terms of people seeing your side being represented in a strong intellectual way, but it also helps support the vision of the channel, which I think we all agree on these shared common values. Namely, everybody wants it to be fair. This is a nonpartisan platform. It is fair. We want to give everybody their level playing field to make their case, whether they be Muslim, atheist, Christian, or any worldview. We hope you feel welcome, no matter who you are. Trump supporter, Biden backer, gay, straight, black, white, Christian, Muslim, atheist, you name it. So we are excited about the future. And I've got to tell you, we are really excited about the future. Our goal, we are still not letting go of this goal. We are striving and coming up with new ideas, big time debates, in-person panels that we're going to start working on, kind of like if you guys have ever seen on Jubilee, they have the middle ground debates. We are going to work on putting together our own kind of middle ground debate videos right here where I live in town. It's going to be epic. We're excited about that. We are absolutely determined to continue striving toward hitting that goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Believe me, we are just beginning, my dear friends. Apostate Prophet, thanks for your support. This is Modern Day Debate. Thank you for what you do. Poll suggestion for Daniel Hakikachu versus Apostate Prophet. Is Islam true? I'm open to that. I want to say, let's see. I don't want to skew it in one direction or another. Because Apostate, or what was it? Uh, Perfect Dawa also asked for a debate with Daniel Hakikachu. I'm going to humor you. Would you most enjoy a debate between... Daniel Hakikachu versus AP. Let's do the old uh, copy and paste. All right, fair enough. All right. Perfect Dawa, summarized as PD, versus a common soy boy. I'll let people choose. So it is in the chat. And I can ask him. I can't guarantee it. So Daniel might say, you know, I'm really busy. I don't know if I can make it work. But we do have a poll in the chat in terms of what debates you'd like to see next. Daniel Hakikachu versus AP, Daniel Hakikachu versus Perfect Dawa, or Daniel Hakikachu versus a common soy boy. 
which could be, there are a lot of soy boys out there, a lot of people to choose from. So 13% so far for the common soy boy AP. Uh, it's like, but my dear friends, I've got to tell you, we are available via podcasts. So if you like listening to podcasts like me, like a lot of people, we are available on your favorite podcast app. No joke. We've worked really hard to get on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, you name it. Like we really are on virtually every single podcast app. We're serious about this. We we want it to be available to anybody because maybe you're like, you know, I love listening to Modern Day Debate. I wish I could listen to your debates on the road. Well, you can. And you're like, well, yeah, but I don't want to, you know, use up all my Wi-Fi, you know, listening to YouTube while I drive or while I'm on the train or whatever. Hey, you can listen to our debates by downloading our Modern Day Debates on your favorite podcast app and listening to them on your commute while you exercise, while you cook, while you take a walk, maybe walking down to the beach like Sideshow Nav. Really convenient, especially because it's fully ad-free. How nice is that? Because you might be like, James, James, I noticed there are ads in the YouTube video. And it's true. We put ads in the YouTube video. And you're like, James, I, you know, I, well, hey, you've got the option. If you don't want to listen to any ads at all, the podcast is one way to do that. There are zero ads in the podcast. No joke. So, hey, that's one thing to be aware of. And we hope it's a value to you. Like, that's important to us. We're, I'm just encouraged that when I first started doing the podcast, I was like, is anybody actually using this? Because when we started, it would get like 57 downloads a debate. And now we're averaging, I think it's 2,600 downloads per debate. That's, that's pretty big for, for being a fairly new podcast. It's growing really fast. And that's exciting. And so we're glad that that's actually valued. People have apparently found that useful. So in case you didn't know about that, hey, it's an option. There's nothing wrong with having options. It's a good thing. Karen Chav, good to see you in the old live chat. Glad you were here. Apostate Prophet, good to see you. Says, I want a debate on Islam. Juicy to say the least. And that poll, Daniel Hakikachu versus a common soy boy is up to 19%. People really want to see that. But I, I will give you credit, AP. You are leading with 60%, so that's even more. But glad you were here. Have you forgot the Uyghurs? We are glad that you are here. Yours says, will it be ever be possible to ask questions by mic with follow-ups? Uh, I don't know, especially with follow-ups. I don't really, I'm not super into that. The reason being, uh, oftentimes people like basically try to get into a debate with the follow-ups. And so... Blue, thanks for coming by. Now, open like a mic where people are able to ask it via audio, that actually would be cool. Like, I am open to doing that. I've got to figure out how we could do that, but I am open to it, and I'm sure there's a way we could. So, for real. Blue, good to see you there in the old live chat. Eh, sure. Thanks for dropping in. Hayward, Jeb, Lomi, glad to see you in the live chat again. Ganad Hippati, thanks for coming by. We're glad you're here. As well as Christian Prince Ears and Moderate Mike. Glad to have you, Moderate Mike as well as Kai H. Thanks for your kind, kind words in the chat earlier. I can't remember what it was. You said something nice. Was it about the beard? I don't know. Pony Girl says, Common Soy Boy, LOL. <laughs> Identity, glad to have you here. Thanks for dropping in, as well as King101, glad to have you here. It says, Daniel Kikachu versus Mango. We might as well address the elephant in the room. The last debate was with Apostate Prophet, and Mango T was who he went against. I didn't know it beforehand, but I came convinced afterwards that Mango was not really a Muslim, and so we took that debate down. And I've got to tell you, the reason is I have no grudge against Mango T, but we don't plan on having him on again because we want, because he, he, you know, I asked him, are you actually a Muslim? Because we always want to make sure that people are debating things they actually believe. We tried hosting a devil's advocate debate before the mob didn't like it they want blood they want people to actually have their own beliefs at stake or on the line in a, a debate they're willing to you know step in and say yeah i really believe this i'm not just de defending a position and so we that's important to us we've decided since that one debate where we tried it and people are like ah, i don't really like this kind of lame we said, we're not going to do it again. It's always going to be just a straight up debate where people actually believe what they say they believe. And so I cipher 23. Good to have you here. Thanks for dropping in. And sister of Aaron, daughter of Imran. Thanks for dropping in. 
as well as, there you go, there's Sideshow Nav, keeping it real in the live chat. Sadie Marie, thanks for your support. Says, please smash the like button. Have a wonderful afternoon. Appreciate that. Sadie is right. We're five likes away from 300. You guys, that's pretty huge. 300 live is monstrous. So we do appreciate your support that way. That is, like I said, more people will see this debate, and it does. It's a way to help. If you want to do a good deed for the uh, for the day, it is. You know, it for real. It actually does mean something to me. Like when people do like the videos, like it actually does. Like I, I actually, I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. So it is in a real way a good deed that you're doing, and it is a nonpartisan platform because you might be like, ah, oh, like screw James, but it's like, well. We don't have any videos because you might be thinking like, oh, is this like a, maybe you're a Muslim or a Christian. And you're like, is this an atheist channel where they're going to put out atheist videos where it's just a one-sided atheist video? Or you might be an uh, atheist and you're thinking, oh, are they going to put out a religious video that argues, makes the case for Islam or something like that? Uh, you know, oh, I don't know if I want to support the channel. It was like, we don't put any videos like that out that are one-sided. It, like it is, we truly have it such that it's only debates here at Modern Day Debate. It's, like it's fully neutral. It's one thing to have a fully neutral moderator. A lot of channels have that. Like a lot of people are capable of on their channel where they put out one-sided content, which I don't think is wrong, by the way. I'm not trying to put that down. But they will also, in that channel, host debates, and they do a great job moderating. They're fair. And by the way, you know, Modern Day Debate is not the first debate channel. We won't be the last debate channel. That's the truth. Now, I plan on doing this, frankly, for life. Like, I love it that much. Like, I, I just, I don't ever see myself getting tired of it. I've done it for about three years now. It's almost three years. So I enjoy it an awful lot. It's been about two years and nine months to be exact. So I am determined, like, I absolutely love it. But the point here is, there are a lot of channels that have neutral moderators. Great job. But one thing that we pride ourselves on is we say, hey, if you really want a fully neutral channel where everybody can get behind it and say, yeah, I'm happy to hit that like button because, you know, it's not going to be like James is going to drop a, you know, James is going to drop a video on his position on gun control or something like that. It's just straight up debates. And so that's something where it's like, hey, we did hit the goal. We had, we have 305 likes. Thanks for your support, you guys. Seriously, that really does mean a lot. Let's see here. Yours says, will it ever be possible to ask questions by mic with follow-ups? Oh, yeah. That's, I'm open to that. Christian Prince Years. I didn't know T-Jump talks about me. That's juicy. I mean, T-Jump and I started our channels at about the same time. So I don't, a lot of people don't know that. But I think it was about two and a half years ago, maybe about technically two years and nine months, Tom and I were both starting our channels and... But yeah, long time uh, guest on the old show. Prophet Ivan, son of Thor, says a good debate topic would be, do Muslims love Allah more than Muhammad? Interesting question. Moderate Mike, thanks for your kind words. Says keep up the great work, James. Thanks for that, Moderate Mike. Thanks for hanging out here. Appreciate it. Hope you're, uh, hope you're enjoying it here at Modern Day Debate. And confirm Janetti says, hey, James, invite Harris Sultan someday. We have. We've had him on before. Did you not know that? It was against Daniel Hakikachu. It was a great debate. That one was a monster. I think that debate brought in more subscribers than any single debate we've ever had. No joke. That one was huge. Hawaiian CC, thanks for your kind words. Says James, love the content. I appreciate that. Seriously, that really does mean a lot, you guys. Thanks for your support. And I, I li like you guys are seriously super supportive, and I appreciate that. Jonathan Tyrol, thanks for coming by. I see you there in the little live chat. Jason Torn, good to see you. Says get me in the game. Glad to see you, Jason. It's a possibility. It's Right now, it's like I'm a little bit backed up with, uh, if you're open to a tag team, Jason, that makes it easier for me to get you on. And let's see here. La Tornado, glad to have you with us. In fact, uh, Jason, depending on your views, if you can be honest, don't worry, I can set you up in a debate. Just be honest. It's good to be honest because, like I said, we don't do devil's advocate debates. If you're an anti-theist, I've got a debate next week that I could probably get you in on. It's a tag team debate. So let me know. I'll give you a shot if you want to jump in on that one. And La Tornado, good to see you. And let's see here. Terry Randall, thanks for your support. It says, I hit the like twice. That's funny. Gray Jedi says, smash the like. It spreads the word. Thanks for that support, Gray Jedi. Seriously. Slicer John 189 glad to have you with us, hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for Luigi. Glad to have you here. Thanks for dropping in. Friendly Muslim, thanks for your kind words. Appreciate your support and glad you were hanging out with us. Tinkle Tink, good to have you back. Good to see you again. 
And then Jason Torn, yeah, Jason will give you a shot. Let's do it next week. And want to say thank you guys for your support. Seriously, we're excited about the future. We appreciate everything. And uh, you guys, I just have to say, you guys are so supportive. It means more than you know. And last thing before I do go, because I've got to run. I've got to. So weekday, people. i got to go. But uh, let's see here. It's a weekday in the middle of the day. Apostate prophets that I want, I want it to be that way. And I was like, you know, it's really hard for me to do it. And he said, it, silence. It must be. I'm kidding. You didn't say it like that. But let me show you this next debate. So tomorrow, tag team debate between Jackson Hinkle, Infrared, against Adam something and Destiny. That's going to be a big one. That's going to be exciting. It's going to be high energy. You don't want to miss that one. I'm pumped for that one. And then, as I mentioned, next week, Vosh versus Dr. Bogardis. You don't want to miss that one, you guys. I'm pumped for it. That's going to be controversial to say the least. And I, yeah, fair warning. If it's your first time here, modern day debate is going to make you uncomfortable. Sometimes we're going to host topics that will make you uncomfortable. We're going to sometimes host people that will make you uncomfortable. This ain't your grandma's debate channel. Like this is the real thing. And so we're giving you fair warning. We do follow YouTube terms of service, but nonetheless, it is, it's true. Once in a while, it's going to kind of push the boundaries. And so you've been warned. Uh, hopefully that primes you and you kind of, you're ready for it and you don't get spooked off later on. JS, thanks for coming by. It says, invite King Cobra JFs on to debate gender relations. I don't know who that is, but let me uh, search him on YouTube right now. Maybe they would be interested in coming on. I'm open to it. Let me see here. Gender relations. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay, King Cobra. Let's see. I'm open to it. You see his channel here. It's an active channel. Looks like he's still putting out videos. And also, though, Alabama Slammer. Thanks for dropping in. I see you there in the old live chat. Glad to have you with us. And... Thank you guys, though. I'm excited. Sadie Marie, thanks for your kind words. It says, have a beautiful, we'll, we'll end it with uh, Sadie's words. Have a beautiful Friday and a beautiful restful weekend, everyone. Please smash that like button. Thank you. Flower emoticon. So thank you guys. Love you guys. I am excited to see you at the next one, which we anticipate is going to be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll have another one on Sunday, as I mentioned. So I look forward to it. Thanks, everybody, for your support. I love you guys. Thanks for making this fun. Good to hang out with you at the uh, old post credit scene. James119, glad to have you back. Gross Patat, good to see you again. Truth Defender is glad you made it. Spicy Rhodes, good to see you again. Mahoob Shabazz, thanks. Or it's Maboob Shabazz, thanks for coming by. Xander Reed, thanks for coming by. Glad you were here. I said, get Christian Prince to debate on your channel. I'm open to it. I could have sworn I re reached out to him, though, and he didn't respond. But I'll see. I'll double check. We get a lot of requests for him. And I want to say, though, thank you guys. Seriously, you make this fun. Andrew Martin, good to see you in the old live chat, as well as Soundwave CP, or Soundwave, glad to have you with us. And whew, thank you guys. Appreciate it. You guys, I look forward to seeing you at the next one. And we're, exciting as, we're excited as we continue to pursue the vision of providing a neutral platform so that everybody can make their case on a level playing field. We'll see you next time, folks.